Yeah, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a unique challenge in the long dark that I have made following some community suggestions. This is the Torchless Craftsman Challenge. What does it entail? Well, it's pretty simple. There are two rules. First off, you have to start naked and you can only wear clothing that you can craft. That's rule number one and that's actually quite tricky because there's a lot of frostbite risk all the time. This is similar to the naked interloper challenge that I did, except in naked interloper, you can't wear anything. But in this one, at least you can craft clothing and wear it. However, it's going to take a while to craft most of the slots. So you still have frostbite risk for quite some time. And there are also slots you can't fill, for example, underwear and that sort of thing. So this is quite tricky, but also quite rewarding as you slowly build your character stronger and stronger. So that's one thing. The second rule is, and this is the tough one, torches are banned. You are not allowed to use torches in any circumstance. And this makes it quite difficult because in a normal interloper run, you would use torches all the time. You would pick up a to several torches from a campfire you chain them together to preserve matches. You'd use torches to start a fire. You'd use torches to scare off wolves. You use torches to navigate the dark. So they're very useful in a variety of ways. And taking that away makes it difficult because you're more limited in how to deal with wolves. Uh, it's especially difficult against timber wolves because you can't actually throw torches at them. However, I do permit using flares in this challenge and also campfires. So you can still scare off wolves if you want. It's just that the resources are a bit rarer and a bit more demanding. So those are the two things here. This is uh, start naked and you can only wear things you craft and torches are banned. And if you like this challenge, you can always make it adaptable to you. You can make it easier if you like and do this on Voyager rather than Interloper. Or you can make it harder and maybe say that flares are also banned or you're not allowed to scare off wolves at all or something like that. The point of ch custom challenges like these to me is not to make them as hard as possible, but to make them unique and fun. That's what's cool about it. And in this video, you'll see me spawn in Blackrock, which was the worst possible spawn. And I have to make it out of there and I have to avoid frostbite. I have to stay, uh, get the food. And I have to st start crafting materials. So in this video, I stay alive on Interloper and I slowly craft more and more gear and make my way towards forging and collecting resources to become a strong survivor without the possibility of wearing any clothing and without using any torches. And this was quite challenging, but it was also fun to do and it felt quite rewarding as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get to it, survivors. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a special challenge which is created by myself in response to the community which is the Torchless Craftsman. This is going to be kind of difficult because it has some limitations that means the resources will go much faster. So let's hop in and let's explain what this is. So we're going to do an interloper run and it's going to be this normal interloper but the main difference is that Torches are banned. We cannot use torches at all. And that's going to be quite difficult because we can't use torches to scare away wolves. We can't use torches to start fires. We can't use torches to look inside when it's dark. Which means we're likely to use way more matches than usual. And we're also going to struggle more with wolves. I can still use flares against wolves though, or campfires. But they by campfire will require a match. And flares are fine out except for beast coming that's going to be quite limiting so it's best to actually avoid the wolves altogether if possible we can't use torches at all the other thing is we have to start naked and i already did a naked interloper but this is a bit different we're not going to stay naked we're going to do a kind of reborn traveler type thing which is where you can only wear crafted items so 
we don't have to stay naked, but we can only wear what we craft. Some variants of this rule allow that you can wear underwear and socks and that sort of thing, because they are uh, things you can't craft. But we're going to ignore that for now. I will permit, however, um, wearing the backpack that you pick up and that sort of thing. All right, so let's hop into it. So that's the gist of it. We can't use torches and we have to craft everything we wear. So let's get to it. This is going to be a long haul. We'll do, tell you what, why don't we do mail for once? We don't really play Astrid all the time. Let's play Will this time. And feats, if you want to be very special, you could do Dark Walker feats. Just to be extra fun. But nah, let's not do that. We're going to be naked. And definitely going to go for Cold Fusion. And I think this is one of those occasions. I always go for this one where we can run more. But this time I think we need to start with Fire Master. <clears throat> because it allows the... Um, fires to be more successful so we'll use less matches that way but i'm not sure though if i should go for this let me think about it actually because i one of the reasons i don't like using fire master is that a lot of my viewers don't have this feat so if they want to do it themselves um they wouldn't they wouldn't use it although it's easy to get this if you want to use if you want to get it because it's you can just get like a hundred sticks and then light a fire then let another fire next to it and light fires in a circle around you. And by the time you lit the last fire, the sixth or seventh fire, the first one have gone out and you can just repeat it. Just use one stick per fire, one match per fire, or one torch or whatever, and just do it in a circle. And in time, you'll just get this. So it's not hard to grind out. So you can do it in like half an hour, probably. Now let's go for it. We'll make it a bit easier. Okay, so let's call this then. So this is torchless. Craft. Or should it be craftsman? I don't know. Alright, let's see where we are. So, spawn wise, um, best possible spawn would be HRV. But uh, Black Ash Canyon would be great as well. Although the wolves are a bit of an issue. This looks like Black Rock. And it is black rock. That's not good. Because then we have tin wolves to deal with. And we can't use torches. We can however use campfires. That's okay. Uh, so that should be okay. I'm going to grab a bunch of these. So if you can use campfires, we're alright. The only problem is that... Uh, actually, I just thought I realized this now. We have an additional difficulty with this. We can't use torches, right? Well, the problem is that with Tim Wolves, the best strategy is to place a campfire and then just throw a bunch of torches at them. Right, that will destroy the morale. Problem is, we can't use torches, can we? So I can't, I can make a campfire, but I can't throw torches at them. So instead, I'm going to have to pick a bunch of stones and throw that at the Tim Wolves instead. And that will hopefully hit enough times to get rid of the morale. That's going to be quite tricky, to be honest. And of course, a blizzard is picking up. Marine flare. Matches! Well, that's lucky. Oh, sorry. I almost forgot. We need to take these off. We can only wear clothes that we craft, so we have to take those off. You will forgive me that the first minute was with them on. I don't think it really matters that much. We're gonna head to the uh, sub-level station. I'm gonna grab a bunch of these. <clears throat> and the first priority here is to get out of Black Rock. We're gonna get out of here. There's nothing really for us here. We're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go to Tim Wolf Mountain probably. And Ash Canyon. If 
we find if we find um, the rabbit hat or the bear coat, so cold in my life. we can't use those because they aren't crafted, even if they are craftable. However, we can um, use things like if we find cure, cured hides, that's fine. There's the Timbees. Timbees out in blizzards, if you didn't know. Never would have thought to look here. Yeah. Okay, still light. We got a sewing kit, so then we can make gloves and hats if we get some cloth. Uh, which we can use, but I think I'm gonna... The way I'm gonna play this is I'm gonna actually drop all this and pretend that I didn't start with this. So, because I could just break this down for cloth and then make the hat or whatever, but I think that's kind of cheating. You're, just, you're basically just converting the clothing you spawned with into other types of clothing, so I don't think that really is worth it. i drop these here. So the clothing we started with... Hey, coffee! Needs this anymore. Uh, we're not going to actually use. I don't mind going out at night, but I would like this blizzard to end. I'm gonna leave all these uh, wires and whatnot here. Quite dark, but it's still light enough that I can see without using a match. Okay, let's right here drop the stuff that I won't be needing. So it's these, these, that, and also ah, that we'll take with us. Yeah, we're warm here. Sleep two hours. I need to find some cloth. Uh, I think we'll sleep another two hours. Okay, we'll pass time then, fine. Yeah. What's it looking like now? Still really bad. Well, let's go up here. This is the worst possible spawn. I don't think I need uh, that I can harvest. That's good. That's the transmitter. We don't need to repair that now. I think I will actually leave this. Let me just have a look around here if there's anything. I think we need like five scrap metal. <laughs> okay, let's just drop this. I don't think we'll actually use this. Uh, right, so this we can harvest. Get one cloth for that. Do that right now. And I already found a sewing kit, which is great. So I can already make the hats and whatnot, hats and gloves. Uh, it's still really cold out there. I'm gonna just sleep and warm up until this blizzard ends. Normally I would just use the blizzard to traverse and ignore the wolves. But the Timberwolves are out in the blizzard, so it's no good at all. Okay, it ended. Think. Let's have a look. Yeah, it ended. Where's the Timbies? There they are, right there. Okay, let's see if we can uh, avoid them. Now I have to make a fire and throw a bunch of stones at them. We're gonna go all the way around. And I would like to use the exit that leads to. Oh, actually, this will be good. Might grab some of these. They do need to make the rabbit hats and so on. Uh, come on. Okay. 
I do smell though doing this, which is a little bit of a risk. I mean, it's a oh, I see. Uh huh. Go oh, away. Oops. Oh, here. Is that a cave here or is that a rope? I think it's a cave, isn't it? Let's just drop this here. barely see anything, but I can't really use my matches yet. No. Yeah, the Tim Wolves are gonna come for me right away now, but that's okay. I think I can actually fight them off with stones. Let's go here. Oh, it's another pack. That's fun, isn't it? There you go. Oh, thank goodness for that. See, I can hit them. Barely does any anything, but this is why I picked up all those uh, But you've never seen this tactic before. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Stones left. Needs need more stones. Yeah, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Second pack now, huh? One pack is down, but the second pack is still active. Oh, come on! Ow! I got I got too close, huh? There we are. Both packs are down. Okay, we got it. This is why I picked up all those stones. Both Tim Wolves packs are gone. Collect some stones. I'm cold, but that's okay. Uh, they can regroup though, in time, so I can run into them again. So we're not free as such yet. But those two packs of two, I think it was. I think it was actually a pack of four, but they were kind of stacked. They are gone for now. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I ca now is when I normally would take a torch. And I would uh, carry the torch with me. But I can't do that. I'm cold, but I'm going to wait till this is boiled. Oh, frame dropped there. Everything okay here? Yes. Okay, not sure what that was. Uh, and we have one other issue, which is uh, if an Aurora hits. Now, granted, it's a bit... Um, late in the night, but if an Aurora hits, then uh, we have a problem because they, they won't work, the fire won't work against them. I was a little bit lucky to not get a bite there, but I did have bandages, so it's not a big deal. Drink that. 
Now let's go. <clears throat> and me carrying around these um, rabbits attracts the wolves. But I'm not too scared of them. Uh, let's see. Where should, where's the best place to go? There are more matches down here. The only thing is, I'm a bit worried that there's a second Tim Wolf pack there. But it would be nice to have the matches. I'm honest. Uh, we don't need the ballistics vest. Uh, well, I mean, we can't really use it anyway. It's not craftable. I might head to the... Um, Uh, the Jailer's Residences, where there's matches as well. So, this is that pack, but there can be another pack over here. If that's a different pack, then we have a problem. We can still be beaten, though. Over here is what I'm talking about. Any wolves here? No. The same pack, so we should be good actually. Kind of difficult without the torches. Can't throw it, but that's why we got stones. We saw it does marginal amount of uh, damage to the morale, but it does work. If you're wondering why I didn't aim, why I didn't do this, and then throw, it. I know you may know I did. I didn't do this. Instead, I did this. The reason why is because timber wolves with fire works exactly like normal wolves. So when they were standing still like that, if I did this, they would run away. Or if I just threw it without aiming, then I could get pretty close and throw it right in their heads. Okay, there should be matches here. I might start a fire to coal. Exactly what I wanted. I got wood, cloth. That's great. Uh, let's check in here quick. Could maybe sleep her in the car a little bit too. We're gonna use this piece of coal, I think. Cured leather. Suitcase. Shoes. I did this already, sorry. Scroll message. Mental cash. No, I think I already gone past. No, I haven't. Uh, crackers, shoes. Ah, oh, for the matches, I guess they removed that. Let's see. How cold are we? Very cold. How cold are we in here? Not as cold. Okay, then we are going to light a fire here. Eighty-five percent chance. We're going to make water. We're going to start skinning these rabbits. <clears throat> Come on. Just both for food and also the guts and so on. Alright, let's put here. this on. And a bunch of these sticks. Drop one of these. Put that to boil. Go in here. Now actually warming. And then we can harvest this. Start with the meat, I think. Okay. Boil that. Make more water. Cook that. 37 minutes. Then we go back inside. And then we make grab the hide. 40 minutes, that's fine. Gonna need to eat soon. Fires last longer also because I use the fire mastery perk, so they last longer. There we go. All dry, that's cooked. Make another one. Okay, we're actually warm here now. So let's uh, also house the guts. There we go. Keep making water. Put this on. And how is this too? I'm gonna go for well fed, probably. I could eat anything right now. Just keep making 
this stuff. Yeah, it's fine. All I can think about. I'm gonna head out of it via the bricklayers retreat. This match is there, I'm pretty sure. There we go, and a few more of these on. And grab the guts too. I need to find food. There we go. Eat that. Have a drink. Got a lot of water now. Take that. How long has this got left? I think I might want to sleep for like an hour. Take advantage. So let's do that. You can sleep in cars. You don't need to have a bedroll. You can just sleep in the car itself. And I think the fire will go out. There we are. All right. You can now see as well. Take that, take that. Take that too. And then we're gonna head out of here. There's more rabbits there. I wish I might grab. Other than clothing, we are free to use whatever. I've never been so hungry in my life. Yeah. Get some rose hips for teas. So we can stay warmer for longer. And I'm tempted to go into the prison, but it's not actually warm though. Not really. So I think I'm gonna continue. And head towards uh, probably Cook's farm first. <laughs> Cook's farm and then we'll uh, go from there up to the trailer. Trailer's good. That's indoors. There we can do some crafting and whatnot. Okay, I'm cold. There's a check over here. Uh, any cattails actually? No. But over here, you can find some misc yeah. stuff. Freezing. Yeah, wood. That's exactly what I needed. Wood. Wood. Coal would be good. Okay. Because we have three stink lines, we're likely to run into a wolf soon. But that's okay. We're still going to take the shortcut over the bridge here, I think. Because it's just faster. Although, actually, um, there are wolves this way, and the other way here, there are marine flares. So maybe we should go this way, actually. Yeah, let's uh, let's go this way. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Give me two seconds. Okay. Okay. So over here, in these cars here, it's usually at least one marine flare. And I want it. That's something I can also use against Tim Wolves. Now while I loot this, let's just quickly drop all our stuff. So any team wolves going towards us. Stop. Okay. Uh here then, rain flare. There we are. What Thank are we here? you. Thank you. <clears throat> There should be a pack, maybe not right here, but 
um, not far from me, and they will also be attracted to the smells. They can travel all the way here. This used to be a moose spawn. But you don't get the moose spawn here anymore, I believe. It's only in story mode the moose spawns here. Survival, you can only spawn by the prison and not by Bricklayer's Retreat. Let's grab these for uh, teas. Do need some more food soon. Not a lot of cattails so far. <clears throat> Might stop here briefly and harvest these rabbits. It's outdoors, but that's fine. Coal. Wood, wood. We don't need this, but we'll take it anyway. Uh, matches! That does come in handy, thank you. That might be a fixed spawn. I'm not that familiar with the fixed spawns of Blackrock. Might. Oh, Storm Lantern. That's fantastic. Now we have light indoors. And Jerry can. Heh <laughs> heh. That's a good thing. That's a guaranteed spawn, I think. Uh, I think I'm actually going to start a fire here. Because I want to harvest these things. I want to map also, because uh, I'm not sure where this cache is. So I want to get situated there a bit. And the fires burn longer outside, so. Okay, it put worked. this on and put these on too. Okay. Uh, let's eat this. And let's do this. And then we're going to harvest this stuff. We can create one of these, uh, create this. Ross by risk is being healed. We can also craft now the next one of these, like that. I could eat anything. Yeah. Eat that. Eighteen minutes to boiled. In that case, how much for this? It's seven minutes. In that case we'll make another one of these. There we go. More water, please. And this one. I want this to craft the rabbit stuff. Uh, actually, no. Let's just wait with that a little bit. This. <clears throat> I could eat anything right now. There we go. By the way, upgrading things, I think we should say counts. So upgrading a bedroll that we find counts. It's That's not wearing stuff anyway. It's only really worn clothing that counts. So. Grab this. There we go. Well dry. Eat that. Let's have a drink. I'm just going to keep making water here. And harvesting this stuff. Actually, I might harvest this stuff later because I don't really need it right now. Let's map this. Uh, oh, that's up there. I think we'll leave that for another time. One minute until melted. Uh, let's. Can we break something down? Shoes, sure. Need more cloth. We don't need these, but I'm just carrying them for now. 17 minutes. 40 minutes.
This one's a bit bugged. 40 minutes. Okay, I think we'll just... Uh, call that for now. We could sleep it, but we don't need to. Let's continue. We just need to be indoors. 21 matches, use 3. I think I can hit ptarmigans. I would need ptarmigans for the bedroll. And also broth. Once I'm out of Timberwolf air, um, territory, I will probably will not be needing all these stones anymore. Uh, I didn't put any teas to warm because I don't think I need them yet because we're going to go indoors in a minute. Let's see here. Grabbing all this stuff. We should get cold soon because we're going to take the <coughs> pass out off here. Until I'm clear of Tim Wolves, though, I'm picking up all the stones that I can. There we are. Well, we're going to ignore this pack for now. Yeah. There you go, and while we do stuff in here, we might as well drop this stuff. There we go. Now we can harvest this stuff. I can eat a horse. I'm actually cold in here. Interesting. Barely though. Okay, that's done. Uh, you can eat a horse, huh? I guess we'll eat this. I want to get well fed. Let's harvest this too. Now, surprisingly cold in here. <coughs> that's a surprise, but that's all right. Now we have enough to make um, it's four, so we have enough to make the gloves. I think. Uh, can make this perfect. Uh, let's hold on. That's the rabbit. Yeah, gloves. Okay, well, we're gonna make the head wrap. Because we have two pieces of cloth. This is our first crafted item. And now we don't have frostbite risk on our heads anymore. No, no, it's cool. Should have done that right away, but well. We need a bit more cloth to make the gloves, and then we have that at least. We have two pieces. Uh, anything else around here? We do need a bit more food. Don't see anything. Some of the stuff in here. No. Maybe sleep for one hour. Just to get some warmth, a little bit of warmth back. Okay, uh, let's have a drink. Okay, let's continue to bricklayers retreat. All I can think about is we might run into Tim Wolves again. <laughs> it's possible. If we do, we do. We want to go up there to get out of here, but I think I want to check out Bricklayer's Retreat first. What I might do, though, is drop all our stuff here. Like, right here. Look at that. Now I don't smell anymore. I would like to go to Bricklayer's Retreat, because uh, there should be matches there. can also grab more rabbits if I want to. We could also check out the bunker, but uh, we got one in nine chance of having a pie. We need to find some place to escape this. Which we cold. don't need. A coal, but that's right. There's also cattails over here, which I want. And we have a deer carcass also that might be worth actually harvesting as well. Yeah, I think so. Because we need all the 
<clears throat> materials we can get so we can get clothing ASAP. They might actually grab this day carcass. And all this cook stuff. Die if I don't while I harvest it. So how cold are we? Minus 14. It's not the worst. Okay. Uh, we're gonna harvest. We're gonna harvest this. Got enough matches to warrant it. It's strange not having a torch. The torch just makes it so much easier because you can carry the fire and you use less matches. You can fight off wolves. We don't have that here. It worked. Thirteen. Let's put on um, some teas to to make. We can't interact with the uh, deer until it's uh, forward. Need to wait for that. Make this rice Barely warm, so let's just put a few more sticks on here. We can sleep in um, in here, actually, I suppose. I was going to sleep in... Okay, but maybe we should sleep in here. Might be smart. Wait. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. No moose there at least, which is good. There should be some rabbits there too, so I might try and grab those. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Almost. Let's just keep going. Eat a couple cattails. Uh, I'm gonna delay eating those cans as long as I can. Pun not intended. Coffee as well I got. A decent amount of water. Keep going until that's forward, I think. Let's make coffees as well. 13 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Quite a bit of meat on this one. This levels up cooking as well. Let's just keep going. going all right I want the dare hide as well this is speed up making these things there we go cook this I'm gonna cook all of this I, I might use them might not but I'm also leveling cooking so this early in the game I'm just gonna use it Yeah. 15 minutes. Oops. I've, ah, damn. I burnt the coffee. Forgot to reset it. They say cold, but they're not cold. 13 minutes. And this takes 40. And yeah. Okay. It's dusk, so the night can't be far behind. While that's doing that, let's just quickly see here. Is there any rabbits or anything up here? And also sticks. It's uh, usually rabbits here. Let's just see if I can see any. There we are. Wow. 
missed. On there, on there. Let's grab this one first. Oops. Come on. Oh god. I hate when that happens. It bugs. And I can't interact with it. Bit annoying. Now this time, thank you. Ah, uh, the the fire's gonna blow out now. That's unfortunate. I would like that deer hide. I could gamble and just grab it. I could. Might do that actually and make a fire over there. I really want it. Let's drink this as well. I think I'm gonna go for it actually. Take these. Also this. And I think I'm actually gonna grab the hide despite it being cold. Because I, I wanted that much. Yeah, we got it. That was alright. Didn't actually get cold doing it. Where did the other rabbit go, though? There was a second rabbit here. There he is. Right. Come back here, you. Where do you think you're going? I housed him inside Bricklayer's Retreat. There we go. Okay, let's go. And I think we'll sleep in here because I don't have a bedroll, so we need to sleep somewhere. Uh, any more? Cat tails around here. Yeah, there we are. We should be fine. We start curing stuff. Sleep here a little bit. I have to use another match though. Hey, pry bar, nice. God damn freezing. I'm still gonna pick a bunch of stones, although I don't think we'll run into Timberwolves again. Well, you never know. Coal, that's good. And <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make a fire here right away before I do anything else, because I can't really see anyway. Oh yeah, I have accelerant if I want to, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm going to be using my storm lantern quite a lot since I can't uh, use torches indoors. So the first pack of matches we found, I think, was lucky, but the second one um, was guaranteed. And I think this match is here too. Looks like it worked. Cook that. Cook that. There they are. Has the matches. These are guaranteed. I'm pretty sure. Mental hint. Right, so let's see here. We got simple park up, which you can break down. And see, uh, torches give so much more light than uh, the campfire, but can't pick up a torch, so I'm gonna do this. So it's over. Mittens, okay, we got some more cloth. Sewing kit. Uh, guess that's it, actually. <laughs> this we can break down if you want. Okay, so. Eight minutes. Uh, let's also drop this stuff. And I left the guts out there, but that's okay. Let's just do this. Eat that. Uh, put this. 29. I'm not going to use the coal. That's not going to help. Can't help it. Uh, how much does this give? Two. 20 minutes. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, 
little dry. How much do I need to craft the wraps? I need four cloth. Okay, so I'm missing, missing one. I need one cloth and I can make the gloves. And then there's one less frostbite to worry about. Eat that as well. That's it. I could heat this up or eat that stuff, but I don't think I will. Okay. Can we do this? I think it's... Yeah, I thought so. Uh, we could break this down, but I don't think that's worth it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Just what I need. That is good. That was hidden. That was hidden. That's good. And now I can grab saplings and stuff like that. Okay. We're going to sleep here for as long as I have a fire, really. Don't need these. Put that in there. Uh, we can put this in there, too. We're not going to use it. Put that in there. Oh, yeah, of course, I have rabbits. Of course, I forgot I, forgot I had the rabbits. Now we can do this much faster. Now I have a hacksaw so I can harvest things much, much faster, which is great. Uh, well, we might as well make, keep making water while we harvest this stuff. So much faster. Fifteen minutes. Let's also harvest these. It takes thirty minutes. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's do it. You don't need to sleep very long, especially because we have coffee. I don't think it will burn. No. Go, and then you make more water, and then we cook this. Place that there. And then we get the other gut. The hides will get later. We can just grab those whenever. Lay down right here. But that doesn't require the hacksaw. There we are. And then... Yeah. Eat that. And then let's put as much of this on as we can. We're only going to sleep two hours, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to use the coal. And that's it. Sleep two hours. out or burned out rather there we are take this if you want -da. <laughs> okay then let's have a little drink here let's actually drink this because that's calories too leave the rest take the guts take the pelts which are partially cured and we are off we have an aurora which is very cool, but also very bad, because if Timberwolves now come to us, which could happen, the fire is not going to work. So if that happens, we have no choice but to run back to Bricklayer's Retreat. And that's it. So I have to be a bit careful here. I think we should go up here. Just to check what we can see. Very nice scenery. Okay. Seems alright. For well, now. But well, they could be here. As long as I can get us. There we are. Oh god. Oh god, that's uh, very, very bad. Ow. I'm gonna go for it, I think. Ah! 
<laughs> okay. The only problem is now we're dying of uh, hypothermia. Ugh, that was way too close. Way too close. But I think we'll be okay. <sighs> way too close. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. It's super risky. I was actually hoping that they would... Um, that they would... Um, Howl first, so giving me time to actually run and grab this stuff, but no. Alright. In here, we should be warmer, so we'll make a fire in here. And then we'll be okay. Yeah, actually, we're warm, we don't have to make a fire yet. Too cold to think. Oh, dang, that was so close. Plus three degrees. They destroyed my, uh,. My head wrap. Okay, well that's fine. Now we're out of Tim Wolf territory at least. We should be fine still. We can't sleep here, but we have coffee. Torch. We can't use this torch. So, uh, I'm gonna pick it up just to have it as a collector's item. And just leave it somewhere. We should be fine here. Uh, I need to use coffee at some point. Well, now we're good. You have to walk under this water, but that's right. Freezing water. Oof, that was close. I, that's exactly what I was afraid of. I was really afraid that that might happen. Uh, so don't go out in the roars, but the alternative would have been to go and get more wood and then come back. But I thought they would spend more time uh, animating, like howling, which they didn't do. So they attacked me way faster than I thought they would. Freezing. Yeah. Uh, let's grab all this. Oh, here there's a backpack. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, nothing there. Okay. So cold. Just want to lay down. Yeah, me. we can't lay down, but we can use coffee. Oh, we wouldn't want to make it boring, would we? <laughs> A smarter choice there is to grab as much wood as you can and and wait for the aurora to pass. Because uh, then, if you run into two walls you can just make a fire but I didn't do that also maybe leave the guts behind and don't go for them like I did it's like no I gotta grab these guts <laughs> hubris overconfidence is the main killer in this game I'm too tired to think straight oh, that wasn't really overconfidence but it was um, definitely uh, confidence so there, we're going to climb up there and I can check here first. Is there any coal or anything? I don't think so. No, no we've been here already. I'm going to drink a coffee just to avoid taking um, any damage here. Yeah? And then we basically gotta make our way to the mountaineer's hut. Once we get there, we'll be okay. Because we have coal and wood, so that should be fine. Grab this. We got peaches. We got a corpse. That's it. Let's climb up. And I'm going to leave a bunch of stuff to cure on the uh, mountain of south, then we're going to go to Ash, Ash Canyon. And then Summit, probably. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm swaying, so I'm going to do this. Actually, I can do this. Then the swaying stops. I think the exit is just up here. I don't need that many stones anymore because uh, Timberwolves shouldn't be an issue anymore. Until I got a bleak inlet, that is. Or I come back here. That's the worst spawn on Blackrock, but I have to do. We should come back from this. We should. It's this way. It's this way, but I just want to check here first. <clears throat> See if there's any coal or anything. Which there is. We'll need it. Because we're going to have to go to, uh, to the Mountaineer's Hut now. But we're not going to go there until the Aurora is over. Because otherwise we're going to have like Aurora Wolves on us, which is no good. We're going to have to make several fires along the way. Slightly warmer because of this lantern. I'm gonna use the coffee I found for sure. Okay, we're gonna stand here for a bit. We're gonna harvest this. Pass some time and warm up a little bit. And we're also gonna harvest this stuff using our hands. I'll definitely drink another coffee. I think we can get there without getting completely fatigued. I don't think the Aurora is active anymore, but we can see. Let's have a look. Do you have an Aurora? No, Aurora's done. But now I have to make fires here and there. Because I'm going to be cold, so I have to make a fire. Quite a few times. And we have to make teas to warm up and use it for travel. So let's make a fire right away, really. Over here. <clears throat> and warm up and make some teas. I'm going to use teas to travel. I'm going to avoid the wolves. And just get all the way to mountain air south, really. My fingers feel numb. Got to be very careful with goating. Okay, put two of these on. To warm us up nicely. Uh, we got the soup. I might actually warm those up. We're gonna lose calories, but we'll see. These here. To warm up. Oops. Reset all of them by right clicking. Make water. And also, um, got something I was gonna make. Yeah, yeah. Make this. There we go. Drink the coffee because I don't want to take uh, any damage from fatigue. And then we're going to. Basically, just wait until we're warm. It'll be redlining for a little bit here. Huh? Some more mushrooms here that I missed, so we're gonna grab those. Make some more teas. I'm not gonna run at all. I am heavy though, which is a bit annoying because then we're losing stamina faster, which is a little unfortunate. But it's okay. Dawn is coming. And make another one of these. Make another one. Craft another one. Okay, 
I think we'll leave that for now. So let's just go. We're gonna have to make more of these fires for sure. Because also there'll be wolves in the way. And we can't make uh, torches, or rather we can't use torches. So I have to use the torch trick with campfires instead. Speaking of which, there's the wolf. We're gonna have to scare him off. We got a campfire right here, so this time it's okay. We could leave it to Cure in the cave, I suppose. That would be one way to do it. Here I can use. I can use the campfire. And I think I'm just gonna have to walk the dog. So yeah, when he aggro's next time. It's a little too close. So I have accelerant. So I can make a fire with my uh, jerry can. If I need to. I'm not gonna pick up these um I'm not going to pick up these uh, cattails because I'm too cold to so wait for later. I'm going to head to this cave that's over here. If possible. You can do this. You can throw a stone. And if you hit him on the head, he will flee. But just don't aim at him. Because then <laughs> he'll kill you. There's also a bear that's going to aggro us, so we got a few obstacles before we can actually get to the hut. But I think we can make it. Dawn is coming, so... We got light. And normally I, do, I would just run there. But we can't do that. What I could do is I could have gone to that, the cave where I came out of, or this cave that's right here. Could have gone through there. And... Um, um, doesn't matter because I smell already, so. I already stink, so it doesn't matter if I stink even more. Uh, I could leave all the stuff in a cave and come back for it later. That would be one way to do it. Drink. This is probably the last one I can drink before uh, it stops. A wolf is going to go with his rabbit, but I'm not going to grab it. We'll grab these sticks though. Okay, thank you Barry. Barry the rabbit saved me. Beautiful sunset. I always say the same thing, but this game is incredible visually. We should probably run into a few more wolves. Like I survived another night. There should be some more wolves in. So we're not there yet. And there's also a bear that can be in our way. I think we should be fine goating here though. Don't think we should take any damage here at all. I'm not gonna run anything at all. Let's go into this cave here, probably. I think it's the best. There's a wolf. Okay, change the plan. We're gonna go this way. We won't be able to make that cave. Okay, they're cold now. We have to make a um, fire here soon. Otherwise, uh, we'll get cold. <clears throat> well, I could maybe, maybe make it. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Okay, the red line has stopped, as you can see. Got 
a frostbite risk though. You know, we might actually be able to get there before we get cold. I don't think so though. I think we have to make a fire here. I don't know if I want to risk it anyway. Because the health is so low. I think here, let's make a fire. Can't feel my. That did it. Put two of these on. Uh, actually, put, put one of these on and then some sticks. Drop some stuff. Aim at the wolf. And then uh, let's make some teas. Let's harvest this rabbit. 0.5 kilos, yeah. <clears throat> Let's just heat this up. Uh, I think I'm going to use the coffee, even though I'm almost there. Because I don't want uh, to take any damage at all. Let's drink the coffee. I, sh I would have had one coffee more if I didn't burn one of them. Okay. Make water. Okay. Very nice. Cook that. And uh, let's see. Now we're good, I think. I guess. Forty minutes. Um, I don't think so. We'll leave that for later. Let's refuel this. All right. Looking okay, I think. Uh, we can harvest this tiny little piece that's here. Let's use our hands. Eat that. And put that there. Eat that. Hey, cooking level 2, how about that? Nice. And then we'll take this stuff. One drawback is that the wolf that was following us actually walked this way right there. So we could foreseeably be in our way. Yeah, see what I mean? I might, might even have to go around or make a second fire. And because we can't use torches... That makes it annoying. So what I might do though. I'm gonna use this. There's another wolf here. I need to get to Mountain this out to recover, so. First, let's see if we can scare off this wolf to also go this way up here. Okay, good, yes. Okay, they went that way. Both ran that way, that's lucky. No, we can't use the torch. The torch is memento only. But I'm going to use one of these if I have to. Flares are still allowed because they're limited. So if I have to, I'll use this. Let's check the fishing hut quick. Uh, no, actually, we're not. We're going to do it after. <clears throat> so I'm going to drop this stuff to cure first. But yeah, that's uh, going all right, actually. Uh, the Timberwolf uh, mauling was a little bit too close. Based on my health and that, I thought uh, I would uh, be able to get past him faster because the exit was right there. 
but they didn't really have hardly any kind of aggro animation at all, so that uh, was much closer than I thought it would be. <clears throat> but other than that, it's been going okay. Let's drink one of these. I don't, I don't want to take any damage at all. I want to recover. So the coffee that I found helped a lot. So that we could actually keep a fatigue meter up. If not, uh, I would have to beeline for this. Probably still would have survived, but it would have been much harder. Grab these cattails. Now I need to find some cloth. Okay. See if there's a hammer here. That would be good. Is there a hammer on the boat? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay, let's go inside. I don't think we'll be warm inside, but still. Oh, we got a moose spawn over there. Alright. So here we are. A oh, rope. We don't need that. But. Okay, we are cold here, but not very cold. We do need to sleep here, so... We need as much wood as we can. We got a decent amount of wood here, so here we can definitely recover some health. We might be forced to sleep into the night, actually. Matches. Uh, we got the ski jacket, which we can't use. We got this dog food here. I guess that's it. Yeah. Uh, let's just break this down too. Okay, so here we got five, or is it six of these? Six of these, and then one of these. And then we got six of these too, as well as one of these. So let's write down our journal here. Uh, mountain hut. It's rabbit, it's guts, and it's one deer hind, and it's one bird. Certainly. I need to get one more rabbit and one more gut because if I can go, what I want to do now, I want to go to Ash Canyon and get the backpack. And the idea is I would like this to be cured by the time I get back. Uh, this at least. So then I can make the hat and the gloves right away, which will be fantastic. Okay, minus seven. We are getting warmer, but barely, barely warmer. And we need to sleep also, so. Uh, how is this? Oh yeah, we of course we have this. I forgot about that. Let me see here. Cold is making my head yeah, I'm gonna you do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this because of that. There we are. Now it's actually seven. I did that to save a little bit of fuel. And now, we're going to light a fire. And we're going to sleep for 10 hours, because I need to recover as much health as I can. It doesn't matter if it's dark, I just I just need to get health back. Oh, come on. Why didn't that work? I have accelerant if I need to. And this will restore 32% of our health, and we need to get some birch to get our health up even more. There we go. Alright, now we're good. So let's put this on. It's heavy, and we're going to see for 10 hours anyway. So look here. Let's do... Oh, I should have used this, actually. Oh, well. Um, put all this stuff on. Put one of these on as well. Okay. Then we're going to... What am I missing here? Oh, we'll do that later. Not right now. Uh, eat a couple of these. And let's drink and sleep for 10 hours. We just want some health back here. Something's making me feel 10 hours. Really let's go. There we go. Much better. There 
we go. Now it's night time, but that's okay. Doing much, much better. I could eat anything. Just have some of these. Let's just fill our belly up with this. Okay, excuse me. Alright. I'm gonna keep eating these until my belly is full so we can get well fed. I wish I could choose how many I ate, but here we are. There'll be more cattails here. We also, because we have the hacksaw, we can. Um, we can open containers on the way to Ash Canyon. And after Ash Canyon too. Okay, let's uh, uh, harvest this. The hands. Ah, oh, the fire blew out, but that's okay. Should have put some more wood on there. And then here we are, put that there. There we go, so now it's 7 and 7. Now we have it. Ready for when we come back. Fantastic. I need to get some more wood though. Before I sleep some more. So let me just go outside and grab a bit of wood. Birch will be good, but the, the moose could be up and I don't want to taste the moose right now. Some more. Are these always there? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make another fire and sleep a bit longer. I could have timed that better, and then I wouldn't have have to use a match. But that's okay. We got a lot of matches. Uh, so let's just do that. Uh, let's use a book this time. Yeah, we're not going to use this book, so that's fine. And what we want to fire for is just duration. We just want to sleep as long as possible, really. Come on. Ideally, I want to wait until it's daylight now, but we might not have that luxury because of the woods. I want to go to Ash Canyon, I that is. It. I might have to... Because where would the next place to sleep be from here? Probably Anglis, Anglis Den. And if we get an Aurora again, it's so, so difficult. Uh, but we're not going to smell this time at least. Yeah, I think there's a bed. There's a bed on the way to deer clearing. And there's a bed... Uh, in Climbers K, I think. Is there a bed in Climbers K? But anyway... I think we'll, we'll be okay. Put all of this on except for like two. That's for two hours. Yeah, sure. And then let's sleep. And then we'll continue. Probably go out at night, I think. Okay. Uh, I think we should actually keep going. We're going to leave all this stuff here. And we don't really need this. I think we can leave some stuff here, actually. Oh, let's take this. Uh, memento hint, we don't. Put that away. Uh, cloth will take. Sewing kit, we don't need this many, though. Not for where we're going, at least. And the flares could be useful, actually. This will take... We're not going to use these anytime soon. Okay, that's it, yeah. And I think we actually got to go. Uh, because of the wood issue. So, at the very least... Gosh, heavy snow. Let's head to... 
the forest cave. That's on the way to Ash Canyon. Wood. Heavy hammer. Look at that. Sweet. I think we'll take the heavy hammer, actually. No, we don't need that, do we? Because it's, he it's heavy, but... Nice. Take this too. It, it is a heavy item, but we might be able to use it uh, to break stuff down faster, for example, or as good defense against wolves. So we'll, we'll take it. Okay, I'm cold, but uh, I think we should be okay. I need to get to the the forest cave. Well, we could actually just to make it a bit faster. I'll tell you what we could do. We could go down into ravine. The only thing is, I kind of want to open the container by the wings. So I think I want to go there first. I'll take a little bit of cold damage getting there, but I think we can tolerate that. Also, we should be getting some birch, so. Alright, that's it. Now this freezing. Let's head towards the cave. There's a few wolves in the way, but I think we should be alright. We don't smell. It's quite dark and heavy snow, which is a bit annoying, but we should be fine. Hopefully the bear isn't out. We got coal. If I can get to this cave, we'll be alright for a little bit at least. I could also just make a fire in the open. If there's a deer carcass or something, I can make a fire in the open. But it's a little bit too windy, I think. Okay, so here, it's very hard to see. There's so much snow. Let's see if we can find some birch bark here. We're going to find a lot more birch bark in Ash Canyon. But we can find a little bit that helps with the health recovery. There's a little bit. The panting will. Now I'm going to go down into the ravine, I think, but I wanted to go here first. Because here's this to open. We have a hacksaw, so I can open this now. Hey, another storm lantern. Might as well take it for the moment. And I think in here there's coffee. Yeah, and tea. We need the tea, actually. We can recover some health. Peaches. There's wolves around, but I don't think they are right here right now. I think we should be okay to get this cave over here. We can warm up here. We can't sleep, of course, but... We can uh, warm up. There's a wolf right there. So let's uh, try and avoid that wolf. Taking cold damage. Quite a lot of cold damage. We'll be okay right, once we get in this cave. Okay, let's start a fire in here. Hey, matches, look at that. More matches. But here we are, let's make a fire right here. Uh, sure. So far, fire starting because of the perk hasn't really made that much difference. Normally I would light a torch and then light the fire with the torch, but because of the fire starter perch, uh, feet, sorry, it doesn't really make a difference. It's mostly the navigation and the wolves 
don't because it's minus 11 I don't think we need to use our coal we can just use these like that and then we'll just uh, stay here for a little bit so let's make some more water and I'm going to rip some stuff apart oh that takes forever let's wait with that get some more cloth we can't use any of this stuff how much cloth do you have now six okay so let's make the uh the head wrap 30 minutes how long has this got 14 minutes okay in that case we'll make some of this first Mm, nice no, warm now, but that's okay. Uh, no, this is no. And then we. Now I can make this. Frostbite risk is healed. And now we can put this on. So at least now we have the hat. At least it's, there's that. <laughs> I guess. We can create the birch tea. There you go. Water. We got these no matter what, but we're going to make quite a lot of teas, so let's just keep doing that. There we go. How are we with bandages, actually? Two. That's fine. Okay, we, need to, we can make some teas. This is our need, but I'll take it for the moment. We don't need two of these either. Might actually leave some stuff here in the cave. Uh, just to note it for later. So I don't need to bring this. I don't need to bring... Uh, well, I don't really need to bring any of these things. Uh, I'm going to leave these here because I... Oops, no, no, cancel. We'll get them later. Because they're heavy. I might eat these even if they are... Uh, I don't have a way to open them. Uh, we'll take those. We won't take this. Oh, and this is a memento thing. And this as well. So let's just bring a little note here. Forest cave. I think it's called forest cave. Uh, misc stuff to pick up. I'll go get it later. Okay. Eight minutes till boiled. There we are. And we can make another one. And then we can put this on. And I'm just going to see if I can actually break down this thing before it boils away. But I think it will actually boil away. This thing. I'm going to break this down. With a cloth. Yeah, vaporized. That's okay. And how long can I make the... Yeah, I can make the hand wraps now. 37 minutes. Okay, in that case we'll make another water. And then we'll make the hand wraps. I'm actually not entirely sure if you can wear two of these, but we'll find them out later. Well, at least now we have these two things covered. So frostbite risk there is not going to be a thing. And then we can cook these. I want to make a herbal tea for when we sleep next. I don't think there's anything else to really do while we do that stuff. I don't think so. We can got everything. Wait for daylight a little bit. I think it's going to pass time here. Uh, I think there is a bed further up ahead, but that's okay. We don't really need it. We're going to go to Homesteaders Respite, I think it's called. go put a couple sticks on here that's fine there we go one more here let's make a coffee as well 
Some people ask me, why do I heat all of them up when I'm only going to drink maybe two or three? Well, the reason is because when you go in the radio menu here, they will all be hot. So you don't, so you don't have to go into like inventory and then find the hot one. See what I mean? That's the main reason. Okay, eight minutes. In that case, let's make another coffee, I think. No, we're going to make another herbal tea. Okay, then we're going to go, I think. So let's go. Now it's not as dark. Still going to be cold, though. Minus 23. And we're going to head into Ash Canyon via the ravine, I think. Let me go, go past the bear. Oh, there's the wolf. That's alright. No moose here, because the moose is over by the cabin. We have to go... We can go down to the Ash Canyon. Um, oh, here's a deer carcass. Uh, it's tempting, but I think we'll pass on it. Take the feathers, though. Uh, we can go down to the Ash Canyon entrance, but if you do that, there's a small risk of falling, and we don't really want that to happen. Let's drink this. And then there's a bear around, but the bear shouldn't be like right over this hill, so we should be fine. Probably be out of his cave or something. Panting Will. Bear is nowhere at the moment. Hmm. All right. And we'll drink herbal tea in a minute. Not herbal tea, sorry. One of these teas. I can't light a torch, but I can light this. Flares are okay. If you want to do, you can make this challenge harder by allow, saying flares are banned too. And just generally the stone trick doesn't is not allowed at all. You could also um, have it so you use a dark walker feet can only go to nine. There's all sorts of things, but this isn't about making the challenge hard. It's about making it fun and interesting. If I wanted to make a challenge that was as hard as possible, I would have said that uh, oh, flares are not allowed. Um, you have to wear the dark walker feet. Um, you can't scare away wolves using the aim trick, even if it's a campfire. And uh, I would say you have to do Nogoa settings. Um, maybe even endless Aurora. Like, I don't know, whatever. Like... You can, you can make it harder in so many ways, but this the challenges, most of the challenges that I do are not about making it as hard as possible. Oops. It's about doing something different and something fun. And this one is quite fun, I think. The different, it's, it's difficult, but not that difficult. If you have watched my Nogoa run, which I have a full series of. You'll probably remember that I said no go is, is a good challenge. But having something being difficult is not the same as having being fun. So some people want things to be as difficult as possible and that's their idea of fun. Um, but for me, if you make it too difficult, it becomes too much of a chore. So no go, for example, you have to constantly place campfires on all the time to be warm, and it's just not fun, in my opinion. But that's me. For other people, it is fun. Okay, if you're not sure what no go is, uh, it's no one gets out alive. It's basically dead man or has to dead sleep, but in survival mode, so permanent health loss. It's very, very difficult. Be easier now with the pies, but um, yeah. You can look up, uh, I have a series on YouTube about it if you'd like to see a whole run about it. 
Okay, here we are in Ash Canyon. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go up to Homesteaders Respite. We're going to sleep there and then climb up the rope. Up to uh, Miner's Folly. Head into the Formless Retreat and grab the recipe there. Maybe grab a ptarmigan if you can. And yeah, and then head to the gold mine. I need some more of these. Uh, it's kind of hard to reach. Can you even reach that? Guess not. Any of these still warm? Nope, they're all cold. So let's not take too long then. First, a couple of misc things to loot. There's the homesteader's respite up there. Uh, I think that's what it's called. That thing right there. Pointing with my thumb. Can't feel my feet. Uh, but you can't climb there. You need to attach a rope to the rope anchor, which is right there. But to do that, you have to go from the other side. But you don't have to do that. You can actually go up there. It's not that difficult. I often tend to overshoot it, if anything. So we're going to do that now. It's not that hard. You go uh, up over there, I think it is. And up and over like this. First, though, let's go here. See what there is. Scroll message, survival hint. Goddamn freezing. Yeah. You can leave that. I don't think... Oh, matches. A lot of matches around here. There's the rope we can use, but we're not going to use that. Coal. Okay, we're going to go up there, so we're going to go this way. We'll grab some cattail. We're cold, but because we have herbal tea, and we're going to be indoors, not too bothered about it. I don't think I'll grab all of these cattails, but we'll grab quite a few. Because I don't want to... I want to get... <laughs> into this uh, cabin sooner rather than later. We could have taken a break there in the fishing hut to warm back up. That would have probably been smart. Oh, I'm actually heavy, huh? Well, that's okay. Okay, let's leave the rest of this for now because I want to get inside. So we're going to go up here. Could go to Angler's Den, but that's not the point of this. Okay, so we're going to go up this slope here. I never master this flawlessly, so you will see me do this kind of clunkily. I've only done this a few times, but... We're actually going to go up here as far as you can. Ow. As far as you can. It's pretty much here. And then you want to start moving this way. Ow. You don't take damage with sprains, by the way. So good. Ah. And it's gonna do this pretty much. Walk along the edges here. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. I hope I'm not misremembering how to do this. It's been a little while. Just walk along the edge here, as far as you can. No, there you can see it. I don't think you need to be this high. You can be lower. I just like to be sure. You just hug the wall the whole time, pretty much. Ow. And around here we go. And here we are. And voila. Here we are. We are now up here on the... I think it's called Homesteaders Respite. We're going to take a little moment here and recover. We're probably going to stay indoors here for a while to regenerate. And let me see. If there's someone as Ptarmigan says. I'm going to try. I do have a spray, two sprains. I can't really run. But I should be able to sneak up and grab one. Should be behind her. Should be over here. There they are. Let's see if I can grab one. 
a little bit hard. It's, this is an awkward angle, so it's a little bit difficult, but we'll try. The rest will fly away. Might be back later, maybe. Then we'll grab this. Coal. Then we'll go inside. And inside here you get some good loot as well. Oh, that hurts. Which we can't use. <laughs> there we are. So in here you can, very often, I'm going to use this just so we can see even better. Very often you'll find this. Combat pants. End up being Great useful. pants, which we can't use. And there's also Machinals in here sometimes. Parker, here, yeah, Light Shell. There's good loot in here. We're not going to be able to use any of that stuff, of course. Dog food. We got matches. This is guaranteed matches. They're always there. I'm gonna Tomato food, syrup. Ah, that's just wood. Uh, quite a lot of stuff. Wood. There's the rope, which we could have go and attach. Okay, so first things first. Harvest the ptarmigan. We're not really in a hurry. But we're gonna harvest this first. Gonna need to rest soon. Because of the small amount of uh, clothing we have, it's plus one in here, and we also have cold fusion, so. Let's also harvest the rest of this. We want the feathers. Uh, almost lost well fed there, so let's sort that out first. Uh, we're gonna eat. Not gonna go. I don't think I want to risk getting pre poisoning right now. Do I? I don't think you can get food poisoning from this, actually. Let's eat it. And let's uh, eat this. And let's harvest the rest of this. There we go. And hey, cargo housing level two. That's nice. We need to cook. We need to create some stuff. And I think let's sleep like two hours or something. Maybe three hours. Uh, let's sleep, sleep four hours. Warm up and get some stuff back. We do some more harvesting. We could go and attach the rope, to be fair. Let's just do that for the fun of it. Uh, where was it? Here we are. Uh, let's see if there's more ptarmigans out. That would be great. I could eat a horse. Nah, I guess they flew somewhere else. <clears throat> there should be more of them near Foreman's Retreat. Don't need this many of these stones either, but... Let's just attach this. Make it a bit easier to get uh, next time. There we go. Now oh, that's deployed. Easy to get there next time. Then we're gonna do some uh, organizing. I think I will also attempt to craft another set of the um, hat because I don't actually know. If um, you can wear two of them, I don't think I've ever been in that situation where that was necessary. So uh, we need to cook this also, but I can wait. Uh, I think I'm going to eat this. Don't want food poisoning right now. Later is fine, but not right now. Oh, yeah, we have well fed, of course. When did that happen, actually? Yeah, well fed. Oh, nice, yeah. Okay, uh, let's do this. I want to see if this actually can be done. Oops, oh, well, dehydration. Ah, the well-fed happened just now. I see. Here we are, yeah. Well-fed bonus has kicked in, so now we can carry more stuff, and we have more health too. Very nice. Now let's see, can I? Yes, I can wear two. Okay, I didn't actually know that, because I never tried it. 
most runs I do on interloper, I don't even wear these at all. I only wear those if I have a spawn where I haven't found any hats and I happen to have excess clothing and a sewing kit and I'm indoors, then I might make it and it gets replaced very fast. But at least we have this now. We have two and a half degrees bonus and we don't get frostbite there. So at least we have that. Okay, what else can we do while we wait? Uh, so we can do... Let's refuel this. I want to use the lantern fuel. What else is there? We got four of these, but we need ten, I think it is, to make the insulation. No, we need five. Okay, so we need one more. One more then. Okay. Uh, and we got... Yeah, we got stuff to make. So we're going to do that. Let's start harvesting things into the night. So we're going to regrettably harvest these uh, combat boots. We don't really need to harvest them because we got curtains here, but I'm still going to do it because we need them to create things. So um, that should be enough cloth, I guess, for now, I guess. How much actually do we need for uh, this four cloth? Mm. In that case, we can grab some curtains. There we are. Grab the curtains. Get a bit more cloth. There's the other one. I just knew there were curtains above the bed. That's why I did that. And down here's the bed. Yeah. And then <clears throat> let's create the stuff. One birch tea. I'm using teas a lot more than I usually do because of how cold it is. So normally, like, it's great to make as many teas as possible early in the game because, for one thing, it levels up cooking. But the other thing is that you can use them to travel further, as you saw me do. You can warm up the teas and drink them, and you get heat back. But normally in club, I don't do it very often. I tend to save the teas for when I actually need them. But uh, here, it's very important to actually use it. Okay, I think that is good. We need to cook this, but it can wait. So I'm just going to carry it. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, if I want, I could, I suppose. Uh, let's see if I can manage to leave here. Can I manage to leave? I need to leave. Curtains. No, we don't want curtains. We want to leave. Okay, I managed to mess this up. Chair. Trunk. No, we don't have a trunk. Why am I facing? Am I facing the trunk? Really? Okay, it's the fireplace. Okay. That's be easier. Go backwards and then leave cabin. I saw it there. Where do you go? Yes, to leave cabin. I saw it there, right there. It was. Come on. There we are. Not a big deal, but I just wanted to here drop these. So they last a bit longer. Okay. Okay, and then we go down here. Now I think we're more or less done. So let's uh, let's eat a bunch of these. I would eat these other ones, and I don't really care. I guess food poisoning, but right now I want to recover some health. And where we're going, because now we're on the upper levels, in Ash Canyon, if you're not familiar with it, in Ash Canyon there are no threats on the upper levels at all, except for the bear. There's the bear by minus folly, Boris the bear, and that's it. There are no other threat, um, threats. Uh, that might change in the future, who knows? They might add a cougar to this area, so be careful if you're watching this in the future, and maybe they've changed it, but um, for now, at least, as of this recording, there's only the bear. So that means I can safely carry the tarmac and meat up top, and I'm not going to attract any predators. I'll be fine. And I can cook it when I find a deer carcass or some rabbits or whatever. My daily ptarmigans. Okay, and then we're going to drink this to recover some more health. So we should recover about 50% health or so. Should be able to see it here. So right now, uh, I might actually say uh, 42. I'm not, don't think that's correct. But anyway, let's sleep 10%, 10 hours, sorry. 
And now we should recover quite a bit. The herbal heal lasts for 6 hours, I think. I, that's basically like 20% heal. So there we go, as you can see. Now I fully rested. And uh, we have way more health. Much better. So that's much, much better. Okay, now we can go. Let's see. Yeah. Now we're going to climb up here. It's cold, but that's okay. How we, How's our weight? Fine. We got almost 10 kilos to spare. We will get cold though, because it's quite cold. It's minus 29. And we're going to travel quite a bit still. The next warm shelter is uh, not minus folly, but up here there is a cave. But we will get cold before we reach this cave. I might make the improvised crampons actually. Might might make that. I need a workbench for that though. And scrap metal. We can do this in one go. Uh not sure I want to. Do I want to? Yeah, I want to. For the um for the circus. <laughs> So you just barely, just barely have enough stamina to get up here in one go. <clears throat> I would map, but I'm so cold uh, I'm not going to. So now there is a... Now we're going on the upper levels towards minus folly. But on the way there, there's usually a campsite. And sometimes rabbits and stuff, or deer carcass. There's also a cave where we can stop and warm up if we need to. Although that cave is pretty close to Minus Folly, so we don't really need to. In Minus Folly, there's two indoor locations. There's the residence in the actual Minus Folly. And then there's also Foreman's Retreat, which is where we want to go. Because there's a cooking recipe there, a skillet, and some other things. So we definitely want to go there. Uh, and then after that, we have to take a long journey to the gold mine. Uh, that's going to be a bit harder because it's uh, quite a long journey in the open, but there are a couple caves here and there we can use to stay warm. But now though, I'm looking for this campsite, which is further up. Uh, there can be saplings here too, so let's grab those if we see it. Although I don't really need it, I suppose. How many saplings did I leave behind? One. Okay, let's take these then. I'll take these for when we get the bow. Uh, we don't have maple, I don't think. So if we see maple, we need to grab that. Uh, we, we're missing maple. Okay. Grabbing these for fire durations. So over here, there should be a little campsite. There we are. Anything here though? Uh, no, literally just a campsite. Okay. Then there are uh, rabbits sometimes, but I don't really care about the rabbits right now. I do care about ptarmigans and deer though. And there can be a deer carcass around here, so let's just keep an eye out for that. There's the actual deer, it's typically here as well. Two of them, two of those. Ah, here's maple. Maple is harder to find than uh, birch, but if you just uh, do a little journey like I'm doing, you will find it. There's a few places where you always find it. Uh, like in Winding River, for example, above the, above the cave there. <clears throat> and you'll find a place like this. They, they tend to be high up and on, in the edges of map maps. They don't tend to be along main routes and stuff like that. There are exceptions though. Birch is easier to find. Okay, is this a deer carcass? It is. Okay, so we're gonna make a fire here then, rather than in the cave itself. And warm up. But then we can harvest this deer, we can cook it, we can get the deer hide. So then we have two deer hides, uh, which will be great. And then we're already on our way to crafting some more stuff. Now, some of the stuff that we need to craft can only be done after we have 
Äh, got the bow. Okay, we need these two. Okay, let's make some water. Because we don't have that much water. And I don't think there's anything to make. No. This needs to four. We can do this, although I think it just got foggy, didn't it? Yeah, it did. There you go. Okay, let's just quickly see in here. There's probably going to be... Uh, there's probably going to be coal in here. Uh, no, actually just a little piece of wood. Uh, okay, oh, we'll take it though. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Oh, I know exactly where to go. Go to this fireplace. There we are. Yeah, let's just wait for that to be boiled. Uh, we just make some teas. Okay, that's fine now. Let's do that. It takes 40 minutes. Let's grab that. It takes exactly 40 minutes to do. There we go. That's not done. And that's another 40 minutes. And this takes how long? 12. Okay, that's 40 minutes right there. We got a gut as well, which you we don't really need, I suppose, but... Cook that. And let's get the last gut as well. 30 minutes. And there we go. So we got those. Okay. Uh, and let's now do this. Create the roll sip preparation. There we go. Let's make all the teas. This we're going to eat right away. And I think we'll eat some more of these for the moment at least. Now we have quite a lot of health, so now if I eat some stuff and get food poisoning, I don't really care. I'll wait for the time being, I'm going to eat this until I have 12 cattails left. That's good enough. More feathers, that's good. Need it for the uh, arrows. Uh, yeah, we can make we can make this. Do I have any other things prepared? No. Okay, then we'll just. I don't think we need to heat these up, uh, but I'm going to anyway, just because we can, just in case. Although I don't think we need to. We can just do this. There we go. And we just take this stuff. And we go. There we are. Now up here, th there's uh, usually also some birch. Some saplings. We smell right now, but it doesn't matter. It's only really the bear. And he's not going to go this far. Over here, there's usually... Let's grab all of this. Until I have better gear, I'm going to grab pretty much all of these that I can find. Very often there's birch saplings here on the way. There they are. We'll take those two. There we are. They are more than enough now. We might even leave some behind, but... Good for arrows. Okay, there we go. We have to be a little bit careful here because um, because of the fog. Because now we're approaching minus folly. And the bear can go all the way into the settlement into minus folly. This is creepy, isn't it? In the fog. 
Don't worry too much, you can't really fall off. I mean, you can, but you'd have to walk through on these gaps to do it, so... I have seen people fall off by accident, but it's very rare. You usually just get stuck. But over here, straight in front of us now, is uh, Minus Folly. And the bear can walk into it. And we smell also, so he's probably heading in our direction already. And because I can't see, I don't really know if he's in front of me or not. So I have to be careful. He could just pop up. Okay, here we are. Before we head inside, though, we have time to look around a little bit. There can be a hammer here, and indeed there is a hammer right here. It's actually one of the few times I've actually found it. But now we have two hammers. <laughs> Isn't that something? Got some wood. And we go first. It could used to be a stim in here. Or a chance for a stim. But not anymore. Got a workbench. Uh how can I craft the crampons actually? Uh I need oops. Four scrap metal and two cured leather. Oh, uh, and I left that stuff behind. Oh, we don't need that cured leather. But of course we do. But I can make that uh, if I get one more cured leather. Uh, I can make that in... Um, in the mountaineer's hut if I want it. Okay, then let's check in here, and we'll go to Foreman's Retreat after. Ah! There's the key for the Ash... Uh, Anglis Den cache. We'll probably go there. Not now, then later. And again, uh, I can see, but let's just make it even easier to see. This mining log, we don't care about that, I suppose. We don't need this. I'll pick it up, but I'll leave it behind. Uh, probably in here, actually. Yeah. And uh, we can sort some stuff out. Stuff we don't need, we can leave in here. And come back for it later. So let's leave some stuff behind it. We don't need this book, for example. I'll take the tablets. You don't never know about that. Uh, I'm gonna leave one of the hammers in here, and both of these. And I guess that's it. I'll take the rest. So let's make a note that there's a hammer in here. Mine is fully... Because we don't need to carry it now. Hammer and misc. Uh, maybe we should have a little sleep here for like one hour to warm up. Uh, because I could carry it with me and, and leave it at the base, but the thing is like, why carry all this stuff when I don't need it now? I only need one hammer where I'm going and in the, in the long run and I don't know how long I'll continue this run but in the long run I will come back here and I can collect it then and then take it back wherever I want it right now I only need the one hammer okay oh the bear is over there somewhere be a bit careful it yeah, should be right there can't see him, but he is right there. There he is, you see him? Right there. Okay. We're gonna go into Foreman's Retreat. We're gonna check in here first. It has a little uh, little area. We used to be able to find a Polaroid here, I'm not sure if that's still the case. Got a bed here, in case you ever need to sleep out there, but... Then we got our ptarmigans. And I really want to get one more ptarmigan, because then we can make the insulation. Let's see if I can manage this. More birch, I mean, might as well grab them if they're here anyway. Can't feel my hands. There we go. Got two ptarmigans. Hiya! I have so many stones. Let's, let's throw them. 
Anyway, let's grab these. And let's go inside. And then flying away. Now we can make the insulated layer as well. I'm not sure if we need a workbench for that, but if we do, there is one here. Okay, let's go inside. There we go. So in here, we'll find some misglute. Most importantly, the recipe, which I don't know if we'll need it, but we'll grab it. And the skillet. Here we got flour, which is great. We can make pies with that. Salt. We got potatoes. And uh, shoes, which you can house for the leather thingy. And then we got here we got whetstone. We don't really need that potato Let's again. Some gear. And in here we got trunk. Wow. And the recipe is... Where's the recipe? Nothing there. Hmm, I didn't see the recipe, but it, it is in here. It's always in here. It's hidden. Let's have a look around. A thorough look around. I probably just missed it. It's going to be hidden somewhere. Uh, on the floor. There we are. That's it. Ranger stew. Found it. And I'm even going to spend the night here, actually. And we'll cook the ptarmigan meat that we have with us, too. Wait, where is the ptarmigan meat? Oh, dang, I didn't pick up. I didn't pick up from the performance from the other base. Oh, well. Whoops. That's a, sh that's a mistake. But it's all right. Now I'm going to grab all of this. Mm, actually, I don't want to take dehydration damage, so let's have some water. Then do it. There we go. Let's harvest this too. It takes a while, but it really doesn't matter. We're gonna sleep anyway. I should have though actually bef before I did that because I took like two hours. I should have dropped these things. Okay, now we can actually make this. It takes one hour. I think we might actually have enough daylight for that. Let's do it. Let's make this insulation. There we go. And now I can put that on here. I don't actually know if you can wear two of these. Uh, I never tried that actually, but uh, maybe you can. But when you get a moose, you definitely don't want to. So, but we can try making another one though. But yeah, we're getting there slowly. We got th four things now. Very nice. And let's see here. Let's drop this because I want to refuel this. There we go. Pick that back up again. Uh, where did it go? Going to sleep here. I don't think we need the herbal tea this time because we have quite a lot of stuff. A lot of health. Let's have a little look here. We do need to cook the tarm again though, but it can wait. Got a lot of food here. We need to harvest this, which we can just do now. Oh, it gives two leather. Oh, okay. And I might make the crampons now, actually. Uh, I just need the scrap metal. That's the only thing. Need four scrap metal. I don't know if we have scrap metal here. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe we do. We can see. We can see. All I can think about is food. Okay. So now we can eat uh, now I don't really care about low condition stuff so I think we'll eat this I can eat this and let's eat all this stuff here uh, yeah I guess I guess that's fine for now uh, I wanted to have a look at something. So cooking, we got these things. We need acorn grounds and cooking. We don't have that. We you're missing cooking oil basically for all of these things. Yeah. 
We can make broth though. That's quite good. And stew. Yeah, I can make stew. That gives quite a lot of calories too. And improved rest. Oh, well, a range of stews. That's level four anyway. Yeah, it gives a lot of. Ah, okay. Trout, stew, broth. Yeah, okay. Venison stew. Yeah, these are not great. Okay, so we're going to sleep now for 10 hours. And we'll be more or less full health when we wake up. There we are. Sounds like the weather outside is a bit awful. Now let me quickly look around. Is there some metal I can harvest here? For the thingies. Uh, I don't see... Ah, uh, there's this. It makes more water also. Uh, any more? I think outside there was another one of those. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to harvest. That's metal. I don't know if we can make it actually. Outside, <coughs> I saw some. Yeah. Any others? I don't think so. Okay, well, we might as well sleep until we're fully recovered. Maybe this split will blow over. How are we doing cloth-wise? Eh, okay. Might harvest this for a little bit more cloth. And then we'll sleep for two hours. Think it died out. Okay, let's take all of this stuff with us. I'm going to see if we can Tarmigans? No. It's uh clearing up. In fact it's actually I think it's actually sunny. So here we can make the um, crampons, but I just want to see if I if there's metal that I can grab. I, could eat anything I don't there. think there is. Um, wood, there's plenty of. I don't know if there's any metal. Well, there is in the mine, though. In the mine, there's a workbench, so I can make it there. Any metal in here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, well then we'll wait to uh, do anything, I think. All right, we're gonna just go right away. We're a bit cold, but uh, we're gonna get to, there is a cave that leads down. If we're gonna go through, just gotta check out where the bear is. Let's see, he could be in our way right now. There he is, yeah. A little bit of annoying that he's right there. Um, there are ways to get past him, though. The best bet is to actually distract him. Oh, okay, he discovered me, so... So much for that tactic. Well, you can go actually over him, I think, if you go this way. I'm not sure if I've ever done this before. Uh, no, I don't have done this. I've only seen, I think it was Deadpool who did it. Let me just see if it can be done. I think it was something like, go up here. As high as you could, and then you just go over like this. So cold. 
Let's see if this works. I've never actually done it. I only heard of it or seen it. I can't remember. I think I'm pretty sure it was the Deadpool who told me about it. Ow. <laughs> Thanks, Deadpool. It worked exactly like you said it would. Yeah, I think uh, he just told me about it. So if you're not sure who I'm talking about, the Long Dark community is amazing. You should check it out on Twitch. I, love it. I know people have a very varied opinion on Twitch whether it's a good platform or not, but the Long Dark community is absolutely worth checking out on Twitch because there's a load of streamers, they're very friendly, very inclusive, and they are perfectly open to sharing advice and knowledge and shouting each other out. If you want to stream the Long Dark, become part of the Long Dark Twitch community and you'll become affiliate in no time. Um, and one of the streamers, he's been doing it, streaming the Long Dark for I think about five years. His name is The Deadpool. Just like, you know, the character Deadpool, except Pool is written with zeros. Uh, he's been playing for a long time, and he told me about that shortcut there on the stream ages ago. If you ever want to get past the day, you do that. And I never, I don't think he, I think he just told me about it, he didn't show me. And then I never had use of it until today. And there we are, it worked just fine. Uh, the Deadpool also did a challenge a while back, which is interesting, called the No Fire Challenge, where he was not allowed to start any fires in the game. And I think the longest he survived was about 40 days, because you, you're, it's finite, because you can't cook uh, to make water, so eventually you die of dehydration. So we're going to not go here, we're just going to go ahead to the warm-up. And also, uh, there's very often a carcass here, so let's just see if there is a wolf or deer carcass here. We don't really need the wolf carcass, I suppose, but we'll check it out anyway. So there's also coal in here, which is nice, but we're gonna go to the gold mine anyway, so we'll get a load of coal. I did pick up all my stuff, right? Yeah, I did. Let's see what we got. We got nothing. But we have a deer carcass down there though. So I think we will uh, grab that deer carcass. Uh, can you actually goat here? I don't know. I don't know if we ever, ever goat it down here. Oops. I didn't actually mean for that to happen. I was just, I was just looking around. Uh, barely took any damage. Let's just grab the coal if there's anything around here first. And we will make a fire here and we'll cook this uh, deer. I'm assuming this is already thawed. No, it's not. Started thawing when I uh, stepped in a cave, probably. There we go. Sure. So many matches that uh, campfires are not an issue. I don't think I've failed the campfire so far, have I? Maybe one? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's put on these. Now we're going to make some water. And we're going to harvest this. We have the hacksaw, so we don't need to wait for it to fall. But only for the meat, I believe, so. Cook that. Okay, we can also... Not gonna do a lot, but... We might as well drop all this stuff. It will cure while we do this. A percentage or two. What was that? 31... Uh, okay, we can grab the hide. Oh no, we can't because of that. We can grab this, though. Oh, don't lose well fed. Eh, uh, should be fine. Barely though, but should be fine. There we go. And then this one. 30 minutes. 
And now we can grab this. There we go, we got the hide as well. Drop the hide and the guts. Eat this. Not a very big uh, deer. Well, oh well. Uh, we can cook. Cook this, I guess. And we can create this. And we can cook another one. We're going on a treacherous journey now, so... We need all the help we can get, really. I don't want to spend too long in here. Sounds like there's a storm out there, too. Make water. Yeah, definitely need to make water. Uh, put on this and let's grab this gut as well I mostly usually I often ignore these carcasses but here I really want the uh, the hides that's what I want okay I think that's about it um Could have made broth, but I don't really need the broth. Not really. Okay, we're going to drop all these things. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need them. Ah, uh, I mean. Too close. It's like miles away. Game is funny like that sometimes. Let me reset all of these. Put it on burn. And I think we just go once we're ready. Uh, let's eat the stuff here. We can fry a potato to make a jacket potato or baked potato rather. Uh, we could actually maybe make one just for the sake of it. Cook a potato. The lowest condition one. F 48 minutes. Holy crap. Well, now we're invested, so why not? Let's just do it. Uh, put a few sticks in there. These are hot. Alright, very nice. 38 minutes. And we can make another one of these. You can just take that. Let's take that. And now we can actually eat this. It gives 275, yeah. I could actually use a skillet to make more water. I just didn't think of it for some reason. This, uh, it is another pot, isn't it? I just forgot about it. So I could have made some more water there. Oh well. All right, onwards we go. Sprained wrist. Oh, oh wow, two sprained wrists. That was a bit of a bum that I actually fell down there. And I have to use my bandages. Mm -hmm, forgot about that. But yeah, I have to use the bandages now. But I have one more, so. I don't think there'll be more situations like that. Clothing took a little bit of a hit, but not too bad. There we go. And now we gotta go. Now it gets a bit more complicated. Okay, late in the day, so it's not super cold, I guess. But now we have to go across all these bridges. To the gold mine. It's an easy enough journey. It's very linear, but it's very long. It's in the open. There's the rope. You can take this rope with you if you like and attach it in the gold mine, but I'm not going to carry it. It's too heavy. But there isn't that much shelter. There's over here, there's usually around the corner, there's very often a snow shelter. And about half, maybe two thirds of the way, 
there is a cave, but then you're practically there, so there's only really this shelter here, I suppose. And there's more saplings and more maple. I'm actually going to take all this stuff with me because I don't know when I'll next go here. It'll be a while. Might go here in the future. But for now, I'm going to just grab it. Ah, no snow no, no shelter today, unfortunately. Let's take all this stuff. But here, here there can be a snow shelter. There'll probably be a chocolate, though. No? Nothing. Wow. Let's just keep going. Yeah, the crows. Must be a corpse down there. That is actually in the cave down there, I believe. But here's Angler's Den, right, right there. Okay. Hooey. <laughs> Okay, well, we're barely cold now in shelter because it's a s fairly still and it's uh, late in the day, so we're hardly getting cold at all. Let's eat our potato while it's still hot. And let's also just drink uh, whatever this one. And I think we'll be fully warm. And I don't know if actually we need to go that much further. If the weather stays like this, we should be warm for a little while. It's minus eight. We should be able to get really far before there's any cold damage. In fact, I could probably make all the way to the gold mine, to be honest. I don't have the Polaroids or the Vista. Get a good view of Ash Canyon here. Thank you, geez. So here you can see, here is the Angler's Den right there. You can spawn right here on Interloper. Here's some bridges and stuff, the old wolf plateau. All the way back here is the other exit to Tim Wolf Mountain. It's climbing came area, high meadows. And here's that, here's, this is where we came up. We came up over here on the rope and we walked all the way over here. And all the way in the distance, I'm not sure if you can make it out, but there's a bridge right there where my thumb is. Cross that, over here, there's Miner's Folly right there. And here is Foreman's Retreat. And we walked all the way around. So you can see a lot from up here. Nice clear day. There's usually maple around here too. Oh, actually, this not here. It's a bit further. There we are. Maple. I might as well take these. Who cares? I'll probably go via Angler's Den. Uh, probably. And leave some there, I guess. Uh, let's just take... I'm not sure if I need that many more teas. So I might... Stop picking these up soon. But for now, let's just do it. Levels cooking as well. Okay. I'm not sure if we need to run that much further either. I can also drink another tea before it gets cold. And I think we're probably golden from there. If you're playing on lower difficulties, <coughs> make sure you look around the bridges. Those around the bridges, like around here. You can find matches. On int, uh, they're cold. On Intlope, you won't find it. Uh, I have found it once on in Intlope, but that was a bug. On my main run, which is road to 500 days, I have a small collection in my main base of bugged items that I clearly got unintentionally, including some cardboard matches on the bridge. Um, but that was not intended. But keep an eye out for it. On low difficulty, you can find a ton of matches just laying about for some reason. I need to drop something. Yeah, we're heavy, but that's okay. Uh, we're not that heavy. It's a nice clear day. Got a good view. Well, just on a nice casual hike here. We're nice and warm-ish. It's late in the day. It's gonna stay like this for a while. Over here is the Wolf's Jaw Overlook, I think it's called. And this is actually a Polaroid location, a Vista location. But uh, we can't uh, really... We don't have the Polaroid, so... 
we're gonna go up there but before we do just over here there's also sometimes wolf to oh look there we are this can be maple here too we could map her anyway though but it's not really no we need for it i don't suppose the moose is around is it i don't think so there's a corpse there you can't actually see it but you see the crows there's a corpse on this level very few people go there in order to get there you have to climb up this rope that's over there and then you have to go over and through a little tunnel here so yeah okay anyway let's keep going while it's still warm how many of these do i have 38 let's get 40 32 sorry let's get 48 so let's pick up two more one and two these ones bug out all the time you'll climb instead of doing it i like generally speaking i like to leave row sips behind as much as possible uh, in the early game is they're great uh like i said to cook as many teas as you can because it keeps you warm it levels up, up cooking you also get a lot of calories from it of course so they're good There's, uh, some some players some interloper players and some streamers they will grab every plant they can they'll grab everything they can and just warm up but i kind of like leaving them behind because well you know if, in case you ever get moose stomp then you need some extra row sips <laughs> I like having the natural resources available as a backup, you know. So here we are in a little cave. Let's see if we have some extra loot here. Oh, there used to be really good loot spawning here, including a bear coat that you could find, which was amazing. Not today, though. I think I'll leave this. Fur, yeah, we'll take it. So in here you actually warm. This is actually a cave. Doesn't look like it, but it is. It's only minus one. So here you can actually stay. You'll notice I walk slower, and sooner I'm going to start walking faster about now yeah so that means i exited the cave and over here there can be a corpse there isn't one now because there's no crows but if you play on lower difficulties there can be a corpse around this corner here we have this instead and that corpse can have the curator's rifle this is the other vista i think it's high meadows i think nice but yeah some people pick up all of these things and over here around the corner there used to be a stim location that was guaranteed an intel but you always found a stim here it was in the snow very cheeky it was right here always but they removed that too then we have another cave where you can also stay but we don't need to because we are basically at the gold mine already so it's no point horse. we can check it for wood we don't really need the wood to be honest we're carrying too much wood if, it, if anything but We'll go inside anyway. Usually there's a little bit of coal here too. Although we're gonna get a lot of coal in the mine soon, so. But yeah, some people pick up all of the plants they can, all of the rose hips and all of the, um, the reishis and the birch and the burdock, uh, and they cook all of them so that they, well, the level of cooking, but also they have them for traveling but I like leaving them behind as kind of like an extra storage. So if you get stumped by moose, you need to use painkillers, which is the raw sip tea. And if you get parasites, you got the mushrooms. So I like just having them around in case I need them. So I don't always grab them, but in this run, it's a bit harder. So in this one, I am going to pick some up. I do always pick up birch bark though, because birch bark respawns. And uh, therefore that's worth picking up. And here we are at the gold mine. Let's just see quickly there's some flares or something. No. Here's the gold mine right there. There it is. <clears> there's <throat> a backpack waiting for us there. And we're gonna go there. Let's see if we can hit this rabbit here from, from afar. This rabbit here. Uh how about here? Where did I even land? Wow, oh, it spooked him. Ah, okay. It can probably be done, but we'll be here all day. Now, normally, you need to attach a rope here to this rope anchor. But we don't have one. We didn't take it with us, but you saw there was one that I didn't bring. Now, if you really want to climb down, what you could do is you could go over to this the end of this road here. Uh, all the way over there. 
Uh, you'll find a rope climb down out of here and you can grab a rope there and go back and attach it. We're not going to do that though. We're going to take the shortcut down. We're going to go down here, which is very easy. You see these two trees? The the furthest right three, right trees. Well, you just go through those and then you just go down here. And it's very easy. It's a little steep, so you might have to crouch, but other than that, it's fine. Hopefully the developers haven't snuck in a little death fall here, but I think if they did, I think it would have heard about it. And this is a great little shortcut that existed for a long time. And I think there are, or can be, ptarmigans here too, but as you can see, there's lots of rabbits. You don't really need the rabbits though. I suppose I could grab one, but really want some extra food. We don't really need it, but we're not really in a hurry. We have so much health. Look how much birch saplings there are here, by the way. Let's just grab the rabbits. You always need more pelts for repairs. You get some more food. We can cook it all inside anyway. What I really want is like one more time again to see if we can make one more insulation. We are cold, but we're basically here, so I'm going to check out a couple things. So hungry in my life. Let's grab this rabbit too. Uh, then it's a third rabbit. Where did he go? Mm, not sure. We might as well grab these. <laughs> so many birch saplings is insane. You're not gonna go for a lack of uh, arrows. There's some burdocks over there as well. Might as well grab these. It's on the way. Where'd the last rabbit go? I don't think we can pick up the burdocks. Uh, to pick them up, you need a uh, pry bar. No, we have a pry bar. Yeah, we do. So we can pick them up. I don't think I've ever used a burdock. I think it's just an alternative to... to like, reishi tea, isn't it? But it's also used in the recipe. Over here, there's a corpse. Ca I think there can be a deer, but it's usually a corpse. On lower difficulties, you can find a uh, revolver here. Sometimes, I mean, not always. There we are. This unlucky fellow. Come on. Get up there. Not that hard. And below us is the wolf's nest. Over there, see where we are? That bridge right there. Hello, crows. That bridge right there is the bridge we crossed in the beginning. And over there's that cave. Behind this rock is Miner's Folly. I could eat anything yeah. like okay, let's get inside before it gets too cold. We're going to stay inside for a little bit, though. It'll be okay. Very heavy, so running is barely even worth it, but that's okay. Uh, let's pick up one bird, I guess, for the fun of it. Takes a while to dig this thing out. There you go. Looks like those uh, things from Harry Potter. What are they called? Mandrakes or something? Those things that they pull out of the... Um, uh, the pots in the first movie. Uh, I think they're called Manrays. I only read the first four books, I think. Da, 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 da. Okay, so here's a couple of misc loot as well. For a while, I used to say that there's never anything here. I, I never found anything in any of these things you can loot, but then I suddenly started finding stuff. It's just random, I think. There we are. And then over here, there's like a little cabinet on the floor. Let's just eat this. And uh, there also I found nothing, but uh, I think the last time I was here, I actually found something in it. I can't remember what. Was it a book or something? And someone said they once found a parker in there. 
Uh, what I'm talking about is this part here. Here we are. Ah, there we go. See, there was something. Summit solar and lantern fuel. They either changed it or just uh, got unlucky before. And here we are, the gold mine. Very, very heavy, but that's okay. I'm probably going to dump some stuff here. I don't need all the stuff. There we go. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Yes, it's uh, quite heavy as well. But we can sleep in here. Oh, we are so slow because I'm carrying all this stuff, including two rabbits. We're going to be even slower. I'll probably sleep right away when we get there, and then I uh, will craft the stuff later. I have first here, it's a little section before. Go any further. Too heavy to carry. Your accelerant. This usually matches as well. I believe there are guaranteed matches in um, the mines, but it varies where they are. They can be here by these uh, chairs, but they can also be uh, oh, by the workbench. Yes, I'm very heavy, so I am very, very slow. I think there's a torch over here also. Another memento torch. I'm probably gonna eat some of the stuff that uh, like the cans and whatnot. Got some rabbits though. I think I'm gonna stay in here for a little bit just to recover health and sort myself out and let stuff cure and that sort of thing. I need to find food. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll find food, don't worry. Oh, so slow. So slow. But we're almost there, so I'm just going to drag all this stuff there. There's no point using a coffee or dumping something and going back. It doesn't, doesn't achieve anything at this point. So basically there. Take the coal. Coal is always good to carry because it makes you so nice and warm. Uh, eat one of these. Then we go through this little passage here and then eventually we get to the workbench and there we will find our backpack, our technical backpack. Which, so we should have plus 10 carry capacity now, which is great. And there's also the crampons, although the, cramp the crampons used to be only possible to find here. But now you tend to find them here or at the summit. Damn. But we can't use it because it's found anywhere. But we can make the improvised crampons, that we can do. Which doesn't really do much, but it's better than nothing. So here we are on the inner mine. And round here there's not much. It's over there, that's good stuff ifs, but we do have this corpse, which I don't think I've seen very often, it doesn't tend to be here. And then I always check here, like, I think I only once found something around this corner, I think it was a piece of coal. Too tired to think I always check anyway. Yeah, and we are very, very slow. Okay, so over here is the bed and the workbench. And our technical backpack. Hey, we do have crampons here. We can't use those crampons though. But uh, it is here at least. Alright, but let's get the backpack first. So the backpack here is permanent plus five kilos to carry. And if you actually, when I'm not sure if they fixed this, but uh, before at least for me, if you clicked on it to pick it up and then you clicked leave it, like you don't actually take it, it just disappears. But we got it. And now we have plus 10 carry. How about that? We have that. We have one of these. Coal, coal, coal. Lantern fuel. This. Uh, no scrap metal though. So I don't know. I could. Maybe we can harvest these actually. Oh, that's interesting. Thought. Now, 
I need to sleep a little bit, so let's drop these things. So many saplings is insane. Um, can I actually harvest the uh, crampons? No, you can't. Okay. Oh, anyway, we're gonna sleep, and then we'll um, we'll sort this other stuff out later. Let's eat some dog food. Okay, see if we have to smash it open. It's fine. Still get a lot of calories. Just smash them all open. The other ones I like to wait to use the, the peaches and stuff because those you can actually cook and you'll warm up cooking them. Warm up so you'll level up cooking by warming them up. For a while there I was like, well, what is that background noise? But it's because I turned down the eating noises. Okay, we're gonna sleep. And then we'll sort the rest of the stuff out after. So let's sleep for 10 hours. And get rested. Then we'll sort some inventory out and stuff. Okay, so here we are. That's good. Uh, let's make a fire in the fire barrel. Because I want to cook these rabbits and whatnot. Sounds like there's a blizzard out there anyway. And we're heading to the summit next. I think I will go via Anglis Den though and drop some of the um, saplings there. The only thing is there's a lot of wolves there, but I might actually just drop them in the cave nearby, maybe. Turned out pretty well. Put these in there. Okay. And water situation, not amazing, but let's make some of this, some of that. Yeah, a bit easier to maintain now. Our drink. Okay, and then we can harvest this stuff. Let's do the meat first. And then this meat. There we go. We can actually just take this and then we can use, because now we have one liter of it, and we can just use this. There we go. Let's do this, and let's just cook this stuff. Now we can just eat. There we go. Uh, grab that. Cook that as well. Grab the hide. Eat that. And then we can cook some stuff, maybe. Cook this. There we go. And let's just this on here. How long to grab this? 30 minutes is it? Yeah, 40 minutes. Are there more? I don't think so. No. How is our water situation? Yeah, it's okay. Let's make a little bit more. Grab the guts. Basically full health now too. There's one more time. There we go. Okay, then we have a bunch of stuff curing here as well. That's gonna drop this and that. We have some stuff we can prepare though. We can prepare the burdock. Why not? And cook that. 
and let's just much water. We have a lot of water now, but nevertheless, I'm still gonna make some more. Burdock, prepared burdock. And then same thing with the rose hips. I have a bunch of teas, so traveling should be easy. Burdock tea. Make sure tea. Get that. There we go. Spoiled. Yeah, that's good. All right. Very nice. Let's see. That's food-wise. Uh, we don't really need these potatoes. I guess we could cook them. It takes forever, though. I don't think it's barely even worth it. Might smash these open. I don't know. Especially this one. It's a lot of peaches. They weigh so much also. Yeah. It's fine. 22% was lost. It's fine. Let's also do this. It's because it's uh, they're kind of heavy. Okay, and let's just quickly do some inventory here. Is there anything I can leave behind here? Uh, yeah, we don't need to bring all this stuff. We have so much now in terms of coal, so we don't need that much. So let's just leave that. Uh, I'll take the rest, I think, with us. Yeah. Yes. And again, let's just drop quickly this. And refuel this. Nice. Grab that again. And I'm just going to eat. I'm going to eat these first because they actually make you dehydrated. And then we'll sleep. And then we'll... I think we'll just leave, to be honest. Now a drink. And then I think we'll, we're done here. Let's sleep, though. Sleep five hours. Uh, four hours. Okay. The weather outside sounds awful, but we are still gonna go. We can't just stay here all the time. Uh, we're gonna, so we're gonna take all of this stuff. Crampons we're not taking. It does sound awful, but uh, we just can't sit around all the time. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab all of it. The upside of this being a blizzard outside is that we won't run into the moose. Or a moose, rather. There we are. So much stuff. <laughs> oh, we didn't check over here. Let's do that quickly in here. Anything in here? Hope nobody needs Gloves. Uh, for work. Uh, for, for cured leather, that's actually kind of handy. How much? Ah, I can still carry a little bit. There we are. By the way, if you hear me kind of like sniffle, I'll try not to, but if you do, uh, this video is recorded over several segments uh, using my free uh, time in the evenings when the baby's sleeping. And on this particular segment right here, it's really cold <laughs> outside. It sounds like the weather may have died, which would be, would be good. So this will lead out of the uh, gold mine and down to the second rope out of here. There are a lot of ropes. There's three ropes to climb down out of the gold mine. And this skips one of them. And you come out at an exit that you can't actually go back into. There we are. This should lead us to the rope climb. And I think did the blizzard end? It did, yes. So here we are. 
back in Ash Canyon, and it's warmish because of the um, uh, the late day. And now this maple. I don't know. We'll be here again, so we'll grab this maple. Here's the other rock line that leads all the way up to the gold mine. You can take that uh, off if you like and use it to climb down. You can climb all these three ropes. I always say the same thing. There are three ropes now. There's this one, there's this one, and one further down. So there's three rope climbs, and you can climb them um, up to the gold mine. It's much faster and much shorter, but it's very risky because uh, you're going to spend all of your stamina. So you kind of have to have coffee or stim or pies. And if you don't, you need to have at least fuel to allow you to um, um, to start a fire so you can rest. Because you could be hit by a blizzard. I tried doing this on Interloper once and I almost died because I had to rest after the first two ropes. And then a blizzard hit and then I changed fire and the wind changed and I lost all my fuel and I just barely made it out of there alive. Okay, and here there's a snow shelter. This can also be a campfire. Anything around here? Doesn't seem like it, no. And you can perfectly goat down here. It's not that difficult to, to goat down here. It's just follow these like ledges here. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go the usual route. And also there can be a little contain over here with some stuff, so we'll just use that. Now we're gonna head to the summit now. We're gonna go to the summit and bring all our stuff and then drag a bunch of stuff from the summit down. Uh, however, uh, one issue is we don't have a bedroll. We could make a snow shelter, of course. We could we could do that because uh, we have quite a lot of cloth. So we could do that. Uh, and we might do it in a pinch, but instead I'm going to do what I have done in some of my other walkthroughs, which is to sleep here in Ash Canyon before going to the summit. We also have coffee, so we should be fine. We're going to go to a specific bed. Down here we go. I might drink a coffee anyway to not get too tired. There we go. And there can be a moose here. Let me see, is there a corpse on there? There's a backpack, but I don't think I can be bothered to go for that backpack. Leave it for another time. There can be a moose here. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's here right now. Let's pick up some sticks, actually. How many sticks do I have? 10. Uh, we, we don't need it. We can pick up six later. If I do want to build a snow shelter, it's not difficult. If I want to sleep there. I almost never build snow shelters. Uh, if you see, uh, if you have watched any of my other videos in any, any of my challenges or series, I pretty much never do it because I don't really need it. Uh, if you know where the beds are, you can just make a plan to go from bed to bed until you make your own bedroll. So there's very rarely a need for it. But there are sometimes cases where I'm like, well, I guess it could be handy because yeah, there's a bed. <coughs> Outloper, for example. Out but the, with Outloper, where you have to stay outdoors all the time, um, if you're not familiar with Outloper, it's basically a custom challenge where you play Interloper, but you have to stay outdoors all the time. You can't go indoors. And in those cases, it's good to have a snow shelter. But the problem with the challenge like that is that there's hardly any cloth to be found outdoors, so then there's very little opportunity to make a snow shelter. In this particular challenge, though, uh, we can freely use cloth. So we have a load of cloth resources. So we can easily make a snow shelter and use that as a bed. I don't think it'll be necessary because I think I will go up to Climber's Cave and sleep at the um, the little refuge that is on the other side near the exit to Tim Wolf Mountain. There's a bed there and a little safe corner. And we can also check out the... Um, um, the bunker while we're there. 
Might as well. Then we, then we're going to pick up all of the birch bark that we can find. Uh, because this is renewable. And it also restores health. So taking coal damage doesn't really matter that much. There's even more birds to be found up on the upper levels here. We're not going to go there. I think that's a bit much. I'm bound to find a few oversized birds. Sometimes you find really oversized ones. So cold. Today, not so lucky. You're going to see a really, really oversized one. Check out my... Um, I have some old videos called... Uh, I think I missed one. Yeah. Called Twitch Highlights from the Twitch... Long Dark Twitch community. And there's one there of a phenon who can basically crawl under it. It's so massive. Alright, so this is the birch forest, the lower birch forest. There's an upper birch forest too, which we're not going to go to. That was pretty big. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we can actually go to Timor's Mountain, but we're going to take a little detour. Not a very long one, but a little long. Just to sleep. Uh, although I could make it with just coffee, I'm sure. Uh, it is tempting to build a snow shelter, though, but um, I don't know. If I want to do that. Guess we could. But I think I want to check out the bunker while I'm at it. So we are going to sleep here. And we'll build a snow shelter if necessary. So basically we're going to head to the exit to Timwolf Mountain now. But we're not going to use it. We're actually going to go back up into the mid-levels. And go over a ledge. Grab a cooking pot. Check out a bunker and then sleep in this hidden little area. I can run actually because I'm not going to get that tired by the time I get there. But I'm going to drop a few things in the cave and pick them up when I go back here so they can cure. Usually rabbits around here too. We're basically going to go up here. Up there. There's also uh, usually a deer carcass on the way. Which I probably will uh, grab. And some cattails also I can grab. Over here is the cave to Timwolf Mountain. If you take this one you end up at the deer clearing. Or oh, is it deer crossing? No, it's deer clearing. Uh, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to come back here soon. But before I do that, I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff to cure right here. So we're going to drop all of our stuff. So this can all cure. While I'm out doing some other stuff. Could leave other stuff here too, I suppose, but uh, that's alright. It's mostly that. Okay. Die if I don't warm up soon. And I think there's some cattails here. Yeah, there's a few few cattails here. Grab those for food. There's one on my left that I, uh, I'm gonna ignore for now. We're basically going to go up there, up here. That's where we're going to go. Just taking a little detour. I'm going to get cold, but I'm not too worried about it because uh, we'll sleep it off. Okay, I'm going to run though. And if I see a deer carcass, I will take it because of the hide. Can be up here too, the deer carcass, but usually it's up here. If it is there. Deer uh, carcass, deer carcass, deer carcass. There it is. I think I'm going to grab this because I do want to hide. We can warm up at the same time. 
We're not really in a hurry as such. Grab a little bit of meat as well. It feels so strange to not grab torches and just take him and run, you know. <clears throat> but the fire mastery perk makes this a lot easier. I could have made it harder, of course, by uh, by not using it. But uh, we could make some water, I suppose. Let's place this as well. Cook. I don't know if it's worth cooking any of this stuff. Potato, I guess I could cook. How much food do I have? Not that much. Hey, let's cook a potato, why not? And then we'll grab the meat. Oh, a lot of meat. Eight. Two kilos. Very nice. There we are, very nice. 29 minutes. Okay, then we can grab the hide. Uh, that takes an hour. Okay, take this then. It's done. Take that. Put that there. 56 minutes. Take one liter. Grab this. Oh, getting dehydrated here, but that's okay. There we are. Never been so hungry. Uh, we got so much coal, but one more. One. Okay. I think I'm gonna eat this potato. And let's just get this also. Eat that. that to cook no actually we are going to do, do this grab that and then cook it slightly faster and we'll make another water here and then we'll grab the guts ah, I forgot to drink whoops there we go no drink wait what is that oh, I put potato on there oh god all right I must have misclicked. Oh well. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, oh well. That's okay. We'll just uh, cook some teas and stuff. So let's just do that. Let's prepare this. We'll cook and prepare. Let's do that instead. Prepare another two. And then once that's got like 10 minutes left, we'll start heating up teas too. Well, I don't know if I really need them, to be honest. And let's do another one. And let's just drop some teas here. Uh, I always put the circle, but you can do it like this. Uh, we're not going to use that, so that's okay. You can just do it like this. And a lot of them will be warm. The only problem is now they're stacked on top of each other, and you still have to manually click on them to reset. So it's a bit of a mess. There we are, that's all of them. So then you gotta do this, reset all the T's, just right click them, and it resets the timer. Eat that. And we might as well make two more T's. Make two more of these, and then we can go. Listen to that. Yeah. There we go. Then we take all this stuff. Take that. Grab all of these. Loads and loads of teas. And then we continue. Continue up here. Oops. 
Up we go. Can't see much. There's a campfire right here. Nothing to it though, unfortunately. Might get my lantern out just to um, see a little bit better. Let's check under this bridge, quick, bridge, quick. Let's see, often a corpse here. Not today. It's quite dark, so let's just light this. We don't really need it, but it does help a bit. And across this uh, log here. Nice and safe. And then we're going to go into the climber's cave, which is over here. There's two entrances to this cave. There's a shortcut in the back and then the long one around. And there's the shortcut right here. Going this way. And now we're in a cave and we're barely cold. But we're not going to stay here. We are going to grab the food though. Mm, matches too. We're swimming in matches. But that's it, we're not going to do anything else. There's some cattails around here which we're also not going to grab. We also don't need this um, wood for the moment because we have so much coal. Instead we're going to go this way over here. Uh, I'm placing the lantern down which takes it away from my hub. And over there... Is a route to the upper levels, and you can find a, a cooking pot on the way. I think it's up here, here at least. Maybe it's further up. Is it, is it a bit further up? I don't think so. But let's just make sure. Better to go up and then down rather than uh, the other way around. Okay, it was it was further up. It's actually here. My bad. I'm glad I checked. <laughs> it's better to go up, up and then realize you've gone wrong and then go down again rather than the other way around. Um, but anyway, here you can find usually a cooking pot and then it will lead to the an area where there's usually a, where there's a bunker and then there's a secret area where you can uh, sleep as well. So cooking pot should be here. Oh, I said not there today. Okay, usually it's right here. Right there. But I guess not today. Oh well. That's okay. There's more cooking pots in the game. And then we find the the famous towel of Ash Canyon. You go over this ledge. This is a one-way trip. Can't go back up, as you can see. And for some reason there's a towel here. I don't know why, but always bring a towel, as they say. I'm going to keep going. Keep going, and then I've found another log bridge over here. I'm gonna cross that bridge. Just gotta go up it. There you go. Bad weather coming in. And oh, we got another there. I would grab this, but the the weather does not allow it. It's too too windy. I can't can't grab it. But up here now, I'm going to sleep so it doesn't matter if I run. Here we come to a little fork in the road and we want to go left. But before we go left, we can go to the right here and up here is the bunker location for Ash Canyon. Sometimes there's a corpse here too. A lower difficulty, I think you can find knives and stuff here. Uh, so there is the bunker. Let's just see if there's anything else around. There is a backpack seems and some wood um, actually actually in hindsight I'm gonna take this wood I should have grabbed it once early also because I wanted to make a fire up here and here's the uh, Ash Canyon bunker so let's see if we have the recipe in here that would be nice uh, it doesn't seem like you can also sleep in here possibly some of them have beds oh, this one does have a bed okay in that case, we can actually stay here instead. Uh, metal pail, yeah. I might actually break this down. Okay, it's too dark. Uh, in that case, I think we will maybe stay here instead. Uh, 
not sure about that. That seems kind of cold. Let me do a little test. And sleep for like two hours. Because even though indoor locations should be static in terms of the temperature, sometimes they're not for some reason. I have died into cold a few times. Okay, now this seems pretty... Now, nah, see, it has it has changed. Uh, so let's uh, let's be careful. We don't we have a lot of health, so I think we can uh, safely sleep in short increments. Fuel that. Let's sleep like uh, two more hours. I don't really care if we don't regenerate enough health. That's fine. We just want to be rested. And now, now it's warm. See, it, it does change. <laughs> uh, so we're going to just carefully sleep. I'm going to sleep th three... I sleep four hours this time. So the bunker also has a bed, which is handy. I don't think all of them have beds, but... Uh, it's handy that you can sleep indoors too. Sounds like we have a blizzard out there. And uh, let's eat our potato. Why not? Let's eat our uh, sardines too. Doesn't matter if we get food poisoning at this point. We can just uh, recover it with sleep. And eat this too. There we go. And let's sleep. Yeah, whatever that will be. Four hours, three hours. And then we're fully rested for Tim Wolf Mountain, basically. There we go. We all got fully rested. We can take our stuff. Sleep. Nice to sleep in this bunk. I'm going to grab this also. I want the scrap metal. Might not use it, but we'll see. And we can leave. And we could actually from here <clears throat> just go, t go down now because where we want to go is right down there. And we could probably go down there. Yeah, this looks goatable. But um, we're not going to do that because, for one thing else, I wanted to show you what I was initially talking about, the route. So now we're going to walk only to preserve fatigue. And we should be able to get up the summit this way. But we do have coffee if we're in doubt or if we need it. So um, it will, we will be fine either way. But down here in this route here, uh, if you go left now, we get back down to the lower levels. It's also a one-way trip. But if you go up here on the right, you get to this little corner, this little secret alcove, uh, which is actually protected from the wind, even though it's in the open. So it's here, right in this corner. There's a bed here as well, which is this bed. Isn't that nice? So there's a backpack here too. Yeah, and I think it used to be one of the possible Polaroid spawns. Yeah. Anyway, hey, this is this uh, it is in the open, but this is actually sheltered. So here, even if a blizzard hits and it hits you right in the face, it's not going to blow out your fire. So you can make a fire and sleep, and you'll be fine. It has happened to me once that the fire blew out, but that was because I woke up and it was dousing, and that was a bug. Um, it's one of those times when suddenly the fire blows out, but then you can add fuel to it anyway. So I think the game just kind of messed up. Anyway, we're going to head out of here now. We're going to go down this way. And this is also a one-way trip down here. And then this way leads to the bridge above the burnt forest, which you can take to climb up to Climber's Cave, which is where we came from earlier. So it's, it's like a circuit that leads back up to where we were, basically. It leads back up there. This is where we were earlier, and we took the log bridge across. Oh, I've never seen this before. Can't feel my feet. Hey, that's the Polaroid. That's the Wolf Joe Overlook, yeah. We'll maybe come back and do those. So it's like a circuit, a loop uh, circuit. Now, I'm cold, but I'm not going to run at all because I want to preserve my energy. Worst case scenario, I can make a snow shelter, so it will make it no matter what. I also have coffee. I actually have a lot of coffee. So we're going to make it, but 
it is cool to preserve your resources, so I'm going to try and make it there without using any of those things. However, if I find, I might have to drop some stuff, or I might have to um, stop and harvest the deer, for example. And I might burn some fatigue, so it's possible that I, I will still use uh, the means at my disposal. Uh, that's a doe up there. Frostbite risk. You'll hear the wolf howls, but you are safe here. They are going to do a global wildlife refresh at some point in the future. We don't know when exactly, but they are going to do it. Is that ptarmigans? Uh, and so then it might change. So that... Um, but I have ptarmigans. There, there might be wolves here. I doubt they'll do that though, but who knows? Who knows? Let's see here. So here we are. We're leaving Ash Canyon for now. We got the backpack. It's a good thing to do while some stuff was curing back in... Uh, Team Wolf Mountain. Then we're going to go through this cave. And pick up all of our stuff. We have way more saplings than we need. We might actually leave some of these behind because they, they weigh a little bit. We'll see though. I'm not behind behind, but we'll leave them somewhere strategic. I am heavy, so I'm actually going to take steps to not be heavy. Uh, let's uh, eat something, for example. Uh, well, that's not that much, but we can drop. We don't need these anymore because we didn't sleep outdoors in the end. Drop those. Uh, we could grab some coal if we see it, but we have a lot of coal as well, so I don't think we need that either. So I think I can, I can just pretty much just walk through here. We want to be not heavy <laughs> so that we can climb and also not burn too many, uh, too much fatigue. I will pick up the coal, but. If I'm heavy, I will drop the coal again. I did pick up my hides. Yeah, I did, yeah. You see, we're getting quite a few hides here, even though we haven't actually hunted anything. Uh, I think it is... It's this way. Well, I'm going to go this way, because this way leads to a little area that may have some good stuff so i'm going to check that out first up there here yeah, there's wood usually uh we're not going to grab that and over here this corner on the left that leads to an area where you can find a wolf carcass sometimes or a survivor with coffee so it's worth checking this place out yeah today we have our coal and we do have a wolf carcass, okay. We're actually going to grab that. Because we might make a wolf coat. Okay, and because we're warm, I don't need to actually make a fire or anything. I can just do it like this. I'm not going to grab the guts. We have enough guts and we're not going to use the wolf hide for a while. Okay, we're heavy now. Let's drop uh, a few pieces of coal. There we are, and we have our first wolf hide. We may even get another wolf hide in the summit. It is perfectly possible to make at least one wolf coat without hunting any wolves. There's because they are around the carcasses. So there's one here, or well, this is a potential one, then, and not many of them are guaranteed, but there's one here. There's one at, once you come into Bleak Inlet, out of the Fallen Musket Cave, there's one right there. In Hush River Valley, you can sometimes find two of them in the different tunnels. Um, let's see, there are some other, they can also wash ashore with beach combing. Mm, there are some other ones that I can't remember. I think there's one in Black Rock. Uh, I can't remember the other ones, but this this should be enough for you to, to make one wolf coat without actually hunting any wolves. 
Okay, we're gonna leave the rest. Frostbite is good. Well, the frostbite is feet. Okay, yeah. We'll pick this up. I might drop it. It's always good to pick up the coal, even if you don't use it, because when you pick it up, it triggers the respawn. So a coal takes about three weeks to fully respawn. It can be faster than that, but that's how long it takes to fully respawn. And uh, so if you pick it up and just dump it without using it, uh, at least you trigger the respawn timer. Okay, here we are. Here is the day clearing. Here is the Ash Canyon entrance. Let's go over to this cave here. We might leave some stuff here because we're carrying a bunch of stuff and we don't need all of this stuff. We can collect it later, like the saplings and so on. We want to check out the containers over there too. And there's even more saplings here, so. Uh, I am going to carry the guts though, even though I am actually going to attract quite a few wolves doing that, which is not great. Uh, that's, but I only really need to get past one wolf and one bear, and then we're good. There we are. Oh, we got a flare. Okay, I can use the flare against the wolf if I need to. I have marine flares anyway as well, so. Okay, so in here, in this cave, I'm going to leave a few things. Because we have so many saplings. I'm going to drop a few things here. Uh, so drop first a little bit of this. We don't need that much of it. Eight, let's say. And then here we're going to drop... Uh, let's do it a bit further in, like here or something. I don't know. We have so many saplings. We're going to drop uh, three maple. And maybe... Oh, how many? I don't know. I'm not sure how long they've been cured is a thing. But it doesn't really matter. So let's just take uh, and drop these ones, I think. So how many is that? Seven. Yeah, se I think seven is fine for now. I can make quite a lot of arrows to drop these. So that was, I lost track of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five. Yeah, nine. 60% cured. Out of curiosity, how cured are these? Let's make sure I don't grab the ones that are worse. No, this is fine. We can take these. Yeah. 27 and 60. One, one is 40. I'm going to grab that one. Switch that one with this. And then we have one that's 40 here. These two are 40. Grab one that's 60 instead. Oh, that was another one that was 40. Ah, whatever. We'll just take it. So let's just make a little note there that in their clearing cave there are X3 maple saplings and X, what did I say, 10 birch saplings. Oh, and also, what did I say, 8 coal? Yeah. Yeah, so that's better. So now we actually have some stuff here that we can just leave and we can come back for later. We don't need to bring all of this stuff right away. Let's drop this and this for the moment so we can refuel these with the smaller ones. There we go. Grab this again. Food wise, uh, we're running a bit low on food but we'll be okay. We also have a lot of teas and things. You can actually drink one of these. We're also going to open a container over here that might have food in it. I can't remember exactly what this one has. We're going, we're going to get cold, but it doesn't matter. We do have three stink lines, and there's a wolf in this area. But if the wolf shows up now, it's very likely the wolf will go for one of the deer instead. So that's okay. Uh, the bear is quite far away. I also have these flares. Up one flare, three marine flares. And those are allowed. I will probably use the marine flare because those are more disposable. Never felt so cold in my I life. got the wind against me, which is a bit annoying, but uh, it's okay. And there's even more saplings and so much more maples. You see this trip by Ash Canyon gives you so many saplings that if you ever need it, you set up for a long, long time. I'm grabbing more than even necessary. But if, even if you get half of what I had uh, so far, 
you would have uh, bows and arrows for a long time and then you're going to make the trip again and you'll have even more this is so many arrows to be made yes rabbits i am going to grab a ptarmigan if i see ptarmigans but i'm not going to grab the rabbits Uh, doesn't seem like there's a wolf today. It is possible to go up there, by the way. It's a shortcut. You can go up this route here and then up. Uh, we could do that, actually. I've never actually done it. Let me see if I can manage it. Let's do it for the fun of it. If I don't manage, it doesn't matter. Okay, we got soup. That's great. And I probably will just smash those and eat them if I need to. Cloth, scrap metal. All right, we'll take those. So let's try this. Uh, I've never actually done it. I've only seen people do it. But you can bypass the route, which is around. Usually you go around this way, like around here. And all the way around and get up to a rope you have to climb. But it should be possible to bypass that by going up here. Now there's the wolf. Well, I did kill a deer. Now I would... Grab that there for the food and the hides, but it's really windy and it's a little bit in the way. Uh, and I want to get to the summit also. I think we'll leave it, let the wolf enjoy his meal. So I don't remember exactly how to do this, but I believe you just go up as high as you can and then just go over to this side there, and then that's it. Then you save a little bit of time and also you avoid a, a wolf. I don't know how high I have to go. I'm just going to go as high as I can. The only issue is that uh, I might get a sprain. But I do have cloth to make bandages, so it's not a big deal. Let's see if we can pull this off. If I don't manage, it's no, no biggie. Let's go as high as we can. I'm guessing it's this way anyway. I don't know. If not, it's a little sightseeing tour. It's a bit like the Homesteaders Respite uh, route. It's got a stick along the edges here. I'm guessing this is it, actually. This looks like you can get up here. Yeah. There we are. And there we go. Yeah, we climbed up this place. There we are. Little shortcut. And now we're right here at the rope. <laughs> and the good thing about this shortcut, even though I never used it before, I just knew of its existence, is we bypass the wolf and the bear. Because there's a bear that patrols this area right here. And uh, that's uh, bad. <laughs> it can be anyway. And normally that wouldn't be so much of an issue. But when you can't use torches and you're carrying a bunch of guts, eh, it's a bit worse. Now we gotta climb this here. Let me use this. Now I'm gonna climb up here. And we're not gonna take, uh, we're not gonna get heavy until we're halfway through our fatigue. So the way it works is the eye meter down there that's um, draining right now, the fatigue meter. Once it gets halfway there, so it's half empty, or half full, depending on the person you are, you know. When it's half empty, um, you start being able to carry less, so you get heavier and you can't carry everything. Okay. Anything here? I think there are some stuff here, actually. I'm just gonna carefully map this quickly. Oh, there's something else I can dump. I've got so much charcoal. Okay. I'll leave that. So you usually get maple saplings here too. In here, I think you can find Spelunkus Lantern. I didn't actually check all of the Ash Canyon caves for Spelunkus Lantern. Spelunkus Lantern is an interloper now and has been for a little while. I sent in an email to um, to Hintland saying I think they should add it because it adds a little bit of a reward for interloper players. I'm not saying they added it to the game because I sent that email. 
and, and they did respond to it. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that this is something that I uh, uh, wished would happen, and they did do it, which is very nice of them. Let's see here, though. Um, let's go this way here. So this cave is a transition cave that leads up to the summit. You bypass another rope doing this way, but you had to climb a rope to get there anyway, so. Here we are. Oh, maglens. Yay. That's great. Don't think we need the wood yet, at least. No Spelunker's Lantern, though. Shame. Let's just see in here quickly. Let's have a look. Is there anything in here? I'm going to go through there anyway. But I just want to see if there's anything here. I don't think there is. Let's go through here. And I think we get to an atrium? Or maybe it was just this. Yeah, it was just this. Wood that we don't need. And now we should come to an exit. At least the Tim Wolf Mountain and the summit. Let's pick this up. I want to drop a few more things because I'm going to get heavy as I start climbing. So, I'm going to try and avoid that as much as possible. Here we are. This leads to the upper levels. We're now bypassing Eric's Falls, where there are uh, there's a bear cave and also another wolf. So this route is much safer than going all the way around. Or on lower difficulties, you also find um, uh, stuff there. Let's use that. I'm going to drop some of these things. We don't need, uh, sorry, where are they? We don't need this many. <laughs> That's fine. Drop that. A little bit lighter now. Uh, we can also drop a few of these. We don't need this much. Yeah. Be a little bit easy on the climb. We can also have a drink. That's also easier. And then we leave. And now we are here on the upper levels of Timov Mountain. Normally you climb this rope right there. As you get up here. To escape this cold. But you have to go around uh, into Eric's Falls. To deal with the, um, the bear. And also at least one wolf. But there is, it's worth going there though by all means. But uh, we bypassed all that stuff. Uh, you still have to climb the same amount of ropes, though. The rope you climb was just a different rope, which is the one we did. Here's a little cave with a deer carcass. I think we will leave this one as well because we're on like a fatigue clock. So we're not going to harvest this one either. And But we'll harvest the next ones we see. Here's a rope. And a book, we can leave that book. This rope I like to use. Doesn't matter if I'm cold. You just take it and you go to a rope bank over here, which creates a shortcut for when you want to come back here next time. There's another shortcut as well down by Eric's Falls, which is the fastest shortcut. There's a rope anchor there, um, which attaches to, if you put a rope on it, it leads down to the river, which leads to the mountainous hut. So that's a very fast way back up. But there's also this shortcut right here. This is where uh, this leads down to where we were earlier. So here's, let me see if you can see the bear, the bear around. No. But anyway, here's the usual route you take. You walk, we, the deer clearing is over there and you walk around like this. There's usually a wolf in this area. 
and you walk around up here and then you follow this path here all the way here all the way around and then you take the rope that i showed you over there and then you climb up to the summit however what we did we went this route over here and instead of actually going all the way around it we bypassed it by goating up here and we bypassed the bear and the wolf but for this is a rope anchor so as a shortcut you can attach it and uh yeah now it's easy to get back up here next time okay i do have to oops oh this frostbite is kicking in we have to be fast i might have to make a fire actually because i spent a lot of time there <laughs> doing that stuff uh let's see how fast is that going mm, very fast we have to, we might have to make a fire halfway through or something So here is the climb. This is a long climb. But if you have rested and you're not too heavy, you should be able to climb up with the energy you have left. Uh, ideally, I would like to have a bit more energy than what I have now because I was messing about doing some other stuff like this rope. So we might have to use coffee. Alternatively, you can build a snow shelter. Or if you have a stim, you can use a stim. That works too. In our case, I think we're going to use the coffee because I kind of dilly-daddled and spent some time doing other stuff, so I wasted some fatigue and I even attached that rope there. So let's do that. Let's stop here. How is our frostbite? It's climbing. I think we'll make a little bit of a break here to avoid getting frostbite. We can cook some coffee if we need to. Sounds like there's ptarmigans up there. Come on, come on. I don't want to get frostbite if I can avoid it. So let's just stay on top of that. And 87%. Eight, let's just put two of these on here. Grab these as well. And uh, how much coffee do I have? I think I have one on me. Yeah, one. But I'm carrying more, so I'm actually going to create more coffees. Uh, yeah, we can actually just use this. Let's make some more coffee. Oh, that was the heat up. My bad. Take that. I meant uh, create coffee. So where is it? Here we are. Let's just do that. Grab those. Let's make all of it because we, we might as well use it. Let's drop these so they're hot. If you don't have coffee, just be a bit more careful than I was with uh, planning how to get up here and don't carry so much heavy stuff. If you carry 20 kilos or less, it won't be an issue regardless because um, actually 25 kilos will be right, I think, because of the extra weight for the technical backpack and well fed. So as long as you carry, I think, 25 kilos or less, you'll be fine no matter what. You can just go straight up there. Or you can bring cloth and sticks and build a snow shelter. I think we could even do that here, like on, on here. I think you can. This is going down 70%. Yes, that's good. I think uh, let's just grab this and let's just go. I'll drink one. We might be okay with just one. We'll see. If not, there's another ledge right here. I can hear ptarmigans. There's another break here of this ledge. I think we can actually get up with just the one coffee. I think I need to lay down. Let's see though. Our sprint meter, or in this case our climbing meter, is recharging very slowly because um, we are below 25% fatigue. That's another thing that happens with the fatigue meter. Once it reaches halfway down, you start to get heavy and you can carry less stuff before you're heavy. Also, once you reach 25%, then the, the sprint meter recharges uh, slower. I think we can actually make it uh, with only the one coffee. You can often find coffee else in that cave we went to from Ash Canyon to here. There we go. There is a risk of falling here, but it's very low risk, so we should be fine. 
There we are. I'm so tired. I could just lay down right here. I heard Tom again. Where are you? So here we are at the summit. Good old summit. Where are the ptarmigans? I hear you. They are over here somewhere. See if I can snag one. There they are. Ptarmigans typically found in high altitude places, so it's a good guess that they were here. I wanted to make this second insulation. <coughs> there we are. And there's no bed here either, but here we could uh, here we can sleep if we want in a snow shelter or anything like that if you want to. Or you can just go back home. How much are we missing for the snow shelter? We just need sticks, don't we? We might build a snow shelter because we have a lot of cloth and you don't really need it. You can just walk heavy back down to Timwolf Mountain, so you don't need it at all. Well, we could make one just to make things a bit easier on ourselves. We need to cook this tom again as well. Let's grab some sticks and head into this uh, fuselage, into the summit, and let's start looting. Actually, uh, while we uh, loot and everything, let's drop everything that's curing in here because we're going to spend a little bit of time looting and stuff like that. And also uh, eventually sleeping. So let's drop some stuff in here. So it's curing, so in here. It's gonna get a lot let's drop all of our stuff. That can cure. While we do stuff, because we're going to be at the summit for a little while. Need to maintain our well fed, but we should be able to find quite a bit of food here in the summit. There are rabbits here too, which we can also grab. The ptarmigans fly away, unfortunately. Hey, I got frostbite. Damn, I was not paying attention to it. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. That's actually the first time I had frostbite in a long, long time. I was not paying attention to it increasing. I, I thought stupidly that because I wasn't cold yet, the frostbite didn't go up. But uh, that was a mistake, so now we have frostbite. Whoops. <coughs> I should have checked, but I didn't. Well, that was my mistake. <coughs> now we have permanent frostbite. Well, that frostbite loss is the same as the health loss, sorry, the health gain from well fed. So uh, it kind of balanced out, so we still get 100% health. <laughs> but yeah, whoops. That's all right. Mistakes are allowed. Everyone makes mistakes. Me included. We're going to make a fire here, though. So we can loot this tail section. While we're warm. And uh, if I had been a bit faster, <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten frostbite because I was going to make a fire here anyway. I tend to make a fire around the various, but usually around here. And then I'm going to warm up while I loot this stuff. So here on the summit, it's always worth going here, even on Interloper. Sometimes people who play Interloper or learn Interloper don't go here because they think, well, what's the point? There's nothing here. But there's a load of stuff. There's a load of clothing, which we're not going to use. Uh, there's tools, there's food. It and works. it used to be one of the uh, guaranteed places for a distress pistol, but they've changed that now. Uh, and there's a stim here too. Here's the stim. So now we have one of our stims, which is great. Let's see what we got around here. So we got a book, we got fuses. And let's see. Uh, I think I'm actually, I'm not going to, I think there might be a can opener here. So let's open these. Chips, crackers, crackers, crackers. That's great. Hold on. It's gonna, yeah, I'm sure I'm actually recording. <clears throat> 
to open all of these. Make sure we don't break our uh, hacksaw. Herbal tea and coffee. What condition is our hacksaw? 35. Mm -hmm. Let me see if there's another hacksaw around. Sometimes there is a second one. What else have we got around here? We got wires. We got... Mm, look at this. Matches and accelerant. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in here, if anything. Ah, the other the crampons again. <laughs> Which we don't need. Maple syrup. And then this fire strike is guaranteed. It's always there. Uh, I want the tools, which I think are... So in this one? Can't remember. Might not be tools on interloper, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, we're just gonna hope this doesn't break. Excellent. Because when we open it, you see it takes 5%, and this can break at any point now. If we're unlucky, this just breaks now. So let's just open... Uh, I think it's this one. One of these has pelts. I think it's this one. If the axle breaks, it breaks. Yeah, leather. That's it. Rabbit there, hide wolf hide. There we go. Let's get this too. It's gonna use use it until it breaks. Yeah. Bandages. Okay. So twenty percent. And we got I think three more to open. Yeah, so this might break. I think this is water in there. I think these are clothing, so we don't actually need these. Uh, I think I'll open this. Okay, peaches. Okay, that was worth it. I'm going to risk it uh, that it doesn't break, but if it does break, it, it breaks. So, I don't know. Yeah, this is a cloth. We can't use this, of course, but okay. Now we have one more, and then, then let's see. Now oh, we got it. Look at that. A load of good stuff. Wonder if I can drop uh, we're not going to use any of this stuff, but look, we got this, we got that. Really good stuff. We're probably just going to drop this. Because uh, we got enough cloth and everything. This is a bit of a shame, but uh, it is what it is. And these are cured. Let's eat on the crackers. Let's fix our ptarmigan. Let's see how long has this got loads of time. Let's just harvest our ptarmigan. Might make some broth with the ptarmigan. Let's uh, put down skillet. Can I make broth here? That's the broth option. Oh no, I can't. You need the pot for that. That's right. Oh, let's do this. There we are. And then harvest some of these feathers. Do one at a time, I think. I'd eat anything right about now. There we go. Eat that. Hey, level three. How about that? So, do we need more water? Yeah, let's let's place. Let's get some more water. I'm going to grab all these feathers. It'll take forever, but that's okay. I want all of them. Yeah, let's just keep grinding this. And we'll, so we might make a snow, snow, snow shelter, sorry. We don't need all this water, but we're still gonna make it. Uh, how 
much water I have now? More than enough. I think that's it. <clears throat> Let's just uh, put on another piece of coal here and then harvest this. There we go. Now, one thing I wanted to try is, can I have two of these? I don't know if I can. Let's find out. Uh, let's just make one. Why not? Why not? For science. And find out. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can with two of them. Wow. Okay. Um, we could head back down now. Without a snow shelter. But I might uh, make a snow shelter anyway. Yeah, I might, I might do it. Uh, is this close enough? Let me just hold on. Give me a second here. I'm just going to try something here. Put that on there. That's warm. Because we might be able to... If I had been smart, I would have placed that fire somewhere else. What I'm wondering is if, if I'm warm here, but it's close to the fire, which I am not, I don't think. Yeah, I am. Okay. Let's just see if that works. That was a, a weird place to put the fire, but I'm just going to see if this works. I need a bit more sticks, though, first. How many do I have? I have... Well, I need 15. There's one over here. Is that the ptarmigan's back? Or is it just like ambient noises? Need one more. I don't know how long it takes to place the... Uh, there's no shelter actually. Where is another stick? We need one more stick. Oh, the ptarmigans are here. I thought I could hear something. They're up here now. My fingers feel numb. I'm gonna grab another ptarmigan then. Doesn't matter if the fire blows out. I don't think it will, but it doesn't matter if it does. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Can't see you, but I can hear you. There you are. What a light. So cold. Oh, damn, I spooked him. Oh, damn. Whoops. I spooked him. I don't think I, I'm not sure if I actually spooked him, but one of them started running, so I figured like I spooked him, but then the others just stood there, so I don't think I actually spooked him. Oh well. Alright, let's just try this out for the fun of it. I just want to see if I can place a snow shelter, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm guessing though it takes a little while to make, doesn't it? I'm not sure though. Can't believe we got frostbite. First, though, let's um, make sure this fire doesn't die out. I mean, it can die out. It's not a big deal. I can just place a new fire. But I just want to try it for the fun of it. So much snow. Hard to see anything. I need a bit more stones. Let's put another <coughs> coal on here or something. How long has this got? Yeah, put uh, put one of these on. All right, so let's go over here and go down while we're at it. Go down here, loot down here, backpack. Guns, guns, guns! Which you will not need. Oh, how funny would it be to... Can you make a snow shelter here? 
That would be hilarious. Doesn't seem like you can. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that you could, of course, because it's not actually snow. But it's funny, though. You could probably place a bedroll there, though. I right, guess back up if you ever get down here. You just go down here. And then you go up on the side here. And now we're back up here. I need to go around to get up there, though. Reason. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm just curious. So right here is the fire. Can I place a snow shelter here? Doesn't seem like you can. Oh. Never felt so cold in my life. It's out of curiosity if this can even be done. I don't think it can be done. I think the angle is too weird. No, I don't think you can. Not even here. I've never been so hungry in my life. Yeah, you can here though. So what we could do is we can make a snow shelter over here. Like right next to here. So here, for example. Make a fire right there, and then make a snow shelter next to it, for example. Or we could have it here. This also is a place we can have it. Uh, just trying to think. Because it's better to have the snow shelter near something that uh, the fire won't blow out if you are near it. That's why I'm trying to place it somewhere specific. Well, you can place it anywhere, really, of course. Yeah, that's healed, isn't that nice? If you make a fire there... Can you place it here? I don't think that's going to be warm enough. Uh, I think I'll just make a new fire. Like, um... Like here or something. It might blow out, but it's not a big deal if it does, I suppose. Let's just do it. You could also make one by the cave. Let's just make a snow shelter here. 43 minutes. Okay. Then warm up first, so we don't take too much cold damage here. Warm up first. Uh, let's eat something too. Eat the maple syrup. We're going to use maple syrup for uh, cooking though, but for now we don't actually need it, so... Eat some of these crackers too. Let's have some water. Can we map? No. And let's just make a new fire here. Let's make a fire and make a... So like right here, for example. Let's make a fire right here. And I'll just build a snow shelter and hope that the wind doesn't blow it out. But if it does, it does. We don't actually need to sleep anyway. It's just to make things a bit easier. You can easily just go down here without any stamina at all and go to the mountainous hut. It's not difficult at all. Okay. Can we place this, like, here? Is it too close to it now? It was working before. Invalid location. There we are. Okay, so you can. Okay. And let's put on these three. And let's try placing one of these near it. You know, look, there we are. Build. And there we go. Now you can stay in here if you want to. Which we are going to do. <laughs> Let's, uh, but we're going to sleep for like a f two hours at a time or something like that. Because, um, I'm not risking it. We'll recover health down at the mountain air south, not so much here. 
If we want to recover some health, though, we could um, we could drink some of these for hydration. And let's put some more sticks on here and a piece of coal here. It's almost morning. Oops, I meant to go back in. And let's just keep th three hours this time. Did it blow out or is it embers? I think it's uh, it blew out. But I think that might be good enough. Yeah. Let's head to the um, cave. Grab our stuff. I can't believe we can have two of those insulated layers. That's brilliant. So we actually have plus five. <laughs> Not uh, partially wet though. But let's go and grab our stuff here. Might make another fight just to stay warm a little bit more. Go grab our stuff, which is in here. There we are, all our stuff. Let's grab that. Since we're kind of low on health, I might restart that fire, seeing as I have a mag lens now. And then uh, make some teas. To make the journey a little bit better. Take as little cold damage as possible, seeing as we don't have so much of it. Sky, very nice. Let's uh, restart this fire here. Should be possible with the mag lens. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there we go. And it's cold, so let's just put these on and a few of these. And what we're going to do, we're going to make some teas. Oops. Make some birch bark teas. I'm going to create these oops I did not mean to do that that's it and then you make that let's also make some bandages quick do that do that Oh, again, I did the same thing. I grabbed it too soon. <laughs> and then let's just place a bunch of teas down here. And I'm gonna, then we're going to leave. I mostly want the birch tea to be warm. A lot of teas here. I don't think we'll be using the coffee so they can, I guess, stay cold. Let's restart all of these. There we go. Thank you, Snow Shelter. You've been a great help. Uh, 
And I think that's it, yeah. We can go now, let's drink one of these. And then we're ready to go. One second. Okay. Let's grab all these teas. Lots and lots and lots of teas. Drink another tea. Not all of them were actually ready, I don't think, but that's okay. Let's go. We're gonna leave now. Normally I grab a torch, but we don't have that. And now we're taking all our stuff. We have everything. We're actually not heavy. <laughs> and now we're gonna go down to Mount Nesat. The Mount Nesat is right there. See that pier right there? That's where it is. It's super easy to get to, even if you're heavy, if you're tired, and you have no energy whatsoever, it doesn't matter. Super easy. Just go down here. It takes you like three minutes in real time. And you go down here and over on this ledge here and get down to the slope and then you're pretty much just home free it's very easy from here clear day today as you can see very easily let's go down this slope you might get a sprain but that's okay yeah there's the sprain and then you can go well, there's many different routes you can take but the best one is usually to go here And then you go down here. Then you go with this slope over here. There's a deer carcass there, which we won't get right now, I don't think. We're carrying too much stuff. Go down this slope. The only thing is, you got a wolf right there. You gotta be a little bit careful of that. So he's kind of in your way. He's going for this rabbit, though. But ptarmigans. I think it was ptarmigans. I'm gonna grab one if so. Uh, let me drink a uh, tea. Warm up a bit. Get some health. I think I heard ptarmigans there. Let's just see if they are here. I don't think they are. I think that's not there. They are. I'm gonna grab one. Can use and make broth and that sort of stuff. What? That was a hit. Oh, at least I got that one. I hit him right there. At least we got this one. And now you can go over there and go, go down if you want, but we can also go here. I would grab this, but I think I will leave this for later as well. I want to dump all my stuff first. And there's a wolf that can be a. Uh, there he is, he's eating. There's also a bear. We're gonna take this goating route here because seeing as we're here anyway. Oh, he is done eating. Thought I noticed that before I went further. Because he smells so much, we have to be a bit careful that we don't get followed by um, a bear also, which is over here. Grab a flare to get out. The wolf is right there. He's going to come for us now. Because of uh, how much we stink. Let's grab a few acorns, shall we? We got time for that. Make some acorn grounds for coffees and pancakes and things. Let's uh, eat another one of these. But let's not stay too long before the wolf catches up. Load of uh, acorn trees and load of oak trees and I realized there were that many up here. I'm not going to take uh, those ones over there. Uh, because the wolf is around. Let me just very quickly though, grab this corpse and this feathers. Then we're going to go down into uh, to Mountaineer's Hut. There's the rope anchor right there. 
not going to use use that. We're instead going to take this uh, shortcut down here. There's the wolf. We're going to ignore that oak tree. Oh, there's another wolf. Ready for dinner. But he can't get to us, so we're not too worried about that. Oh, there's two wolves. That's because we smell so much. Yeah, well, that's okay. Not too worried about these wolves. Because they don't know where to go. Yeah, you run. He didn't know what to do. Because uh, I was out of bounds. And now he follows me now, I will just light this flare. I think we can get there without getting cold. Maybe there is... Cold is uh, my head those, those are cold now, so... I could run, but I'm going to save the bandages. And then we're home free. So there you go, a little bit risky right there at the end because of the... Um, uh, the wolves. But if, as long as you stay in the terrain where they can't reach you, you're fine. You could also go around... Uh, up where we were before. And if you have a torch, it's super easy anyway. Normally with a torch, you can just drop the torch and aim at them and, and that's it. Very easy. We couldn't do that. But. All right, so now we're back here. And it's been a few days. So I think most of the stuff in here is cured by now. And we can actually make some more stuff. And be even warmer. I'm going to have this up. Because there's a wolf around here sometimes. I don't feel so good. There he is. He's going for bunnies. Okay. Let's go in here. Are we going to be warm in here? I don't think so. No, mine is four. Uh, let's start a fire. We just match this. We can't use that. We don't have that much wood, actually. Um, but that's okay. We can um, we can just warm up and go from here to the prepper cache. Uh, unless they change that. I think there's a workbench there. So we can just go there. Worked. There we go. These are all cured now. So now we can actually make stuff. Isn't that nice? We got this stuff in here too. We'll take these. Now I would like to make some things there, but we don't really have the wood to sustain it. So instead, we're going to just grab the stuff and leave. Let's drop these. Uh, we can just drop all of it, I guess. They don't have to be uh, reset. They just need to be warmed up. Let's just drop all of this stuff. And these two. The harvest a time again later. We don't need it right now. Okay. I'm gonna drink these to warm up a bit. And this one too. Not that thirsty. Okay. I think we're just going to go. I think. We should be able to drink this very soon. See, it stacks, by the way. It stacks. Birch tea. Okay. Let's just take all this stuff. All right, in a second, we'll take all the stuff. Let's grab all of these. Grab that, and then let's just get out of here. Head into Pleasant Valley. Grab all of these. That's good enough, let's go. There's the wolf. 
I'm gonna bandage this so I can run. Something's making me feel tired. I think I might use a coffee actually. So I would like to keep moving a bit faster and a bit easier. Yeah, I think so. Let's drink a coffee. Ah, that's better. Is the moose home today? Oops. So this is, uh, we're now leaving Tim Wolf Mountain. There are some stuff we haven't done here. We haven't opened all the crates, like this one in Ravine, which we didn't open. But that's okay. We don't need that. We just, here's the moose, yeah, it's, it's out. You can hear the moose. Should be right there. There, there it is. Spook, this spooks it. Yeah, oh, I ran towards me, that's uh... <laughs> Doesn't matter that it runs towards me as long as it doesn't hit me. Let's drink, uh... oops, I didn't mean to do that. That didn't work. But that's actually an interaction in the game that I think is a bit silly. You see that? So, when you drink a raw sip tea, it asks you what to cure, right? And asks you if you should cure pain or a sprain, right? And then I, I there by accident, I picked the the sprain, right? But of course, you know, what difference does it make? What I clicked because what the uh, rose cures is the pain and you, you cure it by drinking the tea. It's not like when you drink a tea, you're like, okay, okay, rose tea. I want you to focus on the headache. Ignore everything else in the body. Just go for the headache. So if I drink the roll sip tea, it should really cure the headache regardless of what I choose. You know, I think it's a bit, it's a little silly that it doesn't do that. But in this case, I, I drank it to stay warm anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep drinking these to uh, stay warm, but also uh, get some health back. So we're going to head to the prepper cache now. And after that we'll head to Pleasant Valley. So the long term plan now we have a bunch of stuff. We got our um, uh, backpack. We didn't have to do that. We could have done it uh, later. But because we're right here anyway, I figured might as well go backpack and summit right away. So, And then you can gather the saplings and you can get a hide. So even though before we even have the bow now, we can make... The rabbit stuff, we can make the insulations, which we already did. We can make uh, uh, one deer thing, but we need to grab more deers for that. So we can make quite a few things. We do need to make grab more wolf hides and more deer hides. But uh, we got a good thing going here. Let's just keep drinking these. We can make more of them. Can run a little bit, it's fine. I want the sticks because I've been using the coal. I left a lot of coal behind um, because I didn't need all of it. In a way, I wish I had it now, of course, but if I didn't leave it behind, it'd be much harder to reach the summit. But yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. We got a lot of hides, got a lot of saplings, got a lot of gear, got the backpack. And despite being partially naked, we're doing fantastic. We got a frostbite though. I made some mistakes here and there. Yep. But they're good for what I really like about challenges like these, right? One of the, I, I used to hardly do any challenges at all, custom because I didn't find them that interesting. I, I like vanilla interloper. But there are some exceptions and the reason I like challenges like these is because they teach you something. So for example, I played this game for a long time, but I wasn't even sure. Can you have two of these on? What about these two ones? These are new. Can you have two of these? I don't know. And I, I wasn't sure if you could, but now I know. 
So because of challenges like these, you discover these little nuances that you maybe didn't know before. Oh, they're cold now, okay. And that's what's great about it. The same thing with Outerloper. If you ever do the Outerloper challenge, which is Interloper, but you can only be outdoors. It doesn't have to be Interloper. You can do it on Voyager, if you like. Outer Voyager, or whatever. But you're not allowed to go indoors. It will teach you things like where the caves are, what food is outside, what loot is outside. It will teach you which caves have beds in it, and that sort of thing. So uh, these, some of these custom challenges, some of them are just for the fun of it. <coughs> But some actually teach you something. Okay, so here we are, the Pleasant Valley rope, so tired. which we're going to ignore <clears throat> and go down this way. Take the shortcut down, which is here. Go through these cracks. And through here, and then the goat down here, and there's the proper cache right there. Before I head in though, let's just... Oh, never mind. There's a wolf right there. It's gonna grab the backpack and that. In we go! Hurrah! And they still have the workbench here. Let's just loot in here first. Let's also drop everything that needs curing, because we're probably gonna stay here for a little bit. So let's drop everything that is fresh. So that's, uh, this is all fresh. And then fresh, fresh, and all of these also. There we go, all that's, now. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Let's start over here. If you play on lower difficulties, make sure you check around these items because it can be um, a revolver just hidden around here. You can, if you're lucky, find random coffee in these drawers. Never would have thought to look here. Ah, it's cloth. How are we doing with... Okay, yeah, okay, nice. Okay. Are we going to stay here for a little bit? Do some crafting? There's some stuff we can make in here. It's still daylight out, so we're fine. This stuff will come in handy. Do that. Okay. Now there's some crafting stuff we can make. So we'll look at our food situation first. Um, now we got some stuff. We can also just eat eat this, and then we can drink one of these. Now there's still some daylight left, and I want to make some things. So we can now make deer skin boots or pants. But I want the boots because of the um, the frostbite. So we're going to make that first. It's going to take a while though, is the only thing. So let's just get going on that. Let's just keep going for a little while. Until it's... Uh, until the daylight's gone. We're gonna keep drinking these. Ptarmigan we're not that bothered about. Uh, we'll house it later. Boots, keep making the boots. It's gonna be dark soon though, so you have to sleep. Okay, now it's too dark. We can light the uh, lantern, but we're not going to do that. Keep drinking these, because they also give calories. This one too. There we are, and let's have a sip of this. And then let's sleep for, we'll sleep for 10 hours. Should be fine.
and now it's light again. Uh, we ran out of those. I might actually open one of these. It might give me food poisoning though. Um, ah, we're fine. We're fine, I think. Okay. Let's see here, and then we're gonna finish making these. Normally I make these things after I made the bow, but in this particular case, because I can't wear anything, I'm gonna use these. Where do I have frostbite actually? It's actually on my feet, or rather one of my feet. Oh, there we go. Now we have that. Look at us. <laughs> Look at this hardened survivor. <laughs> uh, we can make this also. It takes four hours though. And we can make this and this, which we're going to make. But we don't have that much food, so we're going to wait a little bit uh, before we do that. Uh, let's see. We do need to cook some food, really. But I think we'll do that after. Yeah, let's save the game. Okay, we are back. All right. Okay, I think we're going to take all the stuff and go to the farm, probably. So let's take all of this with us. So much Might have stuff. To drop some gear. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Is there anything else? No, okay. Let's go then. We smell, but that's okay. So normally now, what I would do in this situation, the wolf's still around. Let me just do this first. I'm going to take this because I might need it for a fire, as I don't have that much coal anymore. Okay, normally what I would do now is I would go to the plane crash. And I would... Um, I would loot all of that stuff for clothing, because you can find pretty good clothing then. But because we can't use any of it, it's kind of pointless. So we're not going to do that. I am, however, going to head in that direction anyway, because the bunker in this region is right by the plane crash. So we're going to go via that bunker. And uh, then we'll head into the farm from there. We'll pick up cattails along the way. And at this point, if I see any deer carcasses, I might grab those too. Well, now we're going to head straight to the farm. Candy bar. I could grab uh, some rabbits, but I don't really need them. Ptarmigans I will take. Other than that, no. Now, there is a risk of running into the bear here, because um, Pleasant Valley is a bit unique in that it has multiple bear spawns. Some regions are like that, like Mystery Lake also has multiple, uh, four, and only two are active. However, Pleasant Valley has loads. I think it has like nine bear spawns or something like that. Quite a lot. And it varies which bear spawns are active. And one of them is here. There's a bear cave not far from here. And if that bear is out, he's heading towards my direction now because of how much I smell. And then he will be in the way. And there he is, actually. You can hear him. So I'm going to try and sneak past him. If you have good sound, you will have noticed that uh, he was right there. I'm going to sneak past him. He is right over this hill. I want to get past him because I want to get to this uh, bunker. He should be behind these trees. There he is. 
because I'm crouching, he shouldn't see me. But he is heading <clears throat> pretty fast towards my direction because he's smelled all my food. He's going to head to where he smelled me and then he's going to turn around and he's going to go to where I am now. It's basically how it works with the animals and scent. When they detect you because you smell, they head to the location you were when they detected you. And then when they reach that location, they will then head to where you are next. I'd eat snow if the uh, and when they detect you again. And usually wolves, for example, they are faster than you walk. They will catch up. Okay. We circumvented the bear. And again, normally I would now go up this way and up this ramp here and start looting all these corpses and stuff. But I don't really need anything from there. So I think we will pass on that. Uh, we might, however, drop in there because there is a deer carcass by the cave. And I might harvest that deer carcass. So here we are. This little clearing here. There is... Oh, there's a wolf as well. Okay. There's a bear cave right over there. Let's see if we can go around this wolf. He's also smelled me. Might go for this rabbit. Oh, well, there's the bear cave to my right now. Right there. You can see the bones as well. You might go for this rabbit instead, though. Maybe. But up here is where we want to go. Because up here is the bunker in this region. And so far we only checked one. But there could be a bed in here. More importantly, I'm looking for the, the recipe. I went for the... <laughs> Poor rabbit. <laughs> okay, now we're burning calories fast because we're going uphill and we're heavy. Bunker should be up here, I believe. There it is, yeah. Let's check out what we got in here. If anything. Let's eat some food. Eat one more. Yeah. This looks to be an empty one as well. So on Interloper, they're, they're all empty. All of the, the um, bunkers are empty. However, one of them will have a recipe in it and maybe a couple smaller pieces of loot. That's the one we're looking for. There were some reports of people getting a looted bunker on Interloper, but that was a bug slash exploit. So the bug was that if you did it on custom, you would get the bunker of the previous difficulty. Uh, and that's been fixed. You could also exploit it. You could start a, a, ow, a stalker run and then go to a bunker that had loot in it and then start an interloper run and that bunker would then have the loot in it which was like a uh, also a bug i think both of those have been fixed now we could head straight for the farm now but i might stop here very briefly to grab this deer just have another deer hide i might do that Should be right here, it's always here. There it is. Okay, let's uh, drop stuff in here to cure while we do that though. It's also sunny, so we can just do some ag lens. Yeah, in here, let's just drop um, all our stuff to cure, which is from here. Let it cure a little bit. Yeah. There's a bed, but we don't need that either. Okay, so here. Never felt so cold in my life. Let's start a fire here. Using the maglens. And a stick. And then let's see how we do. And I want the hide. 
Guts are not that important, but seeing as I am here, I might as well grab them. We'll see. Those, that's the wolf from Skeeter's Ridge. Shouldn't be an issue here. Well, I only have this. Thank goodness for that. Uh, how cold is it? Ten. Okay, in that case, I don't need to use the coal. We can put this and like a bunch of these on. Should be enough. Okay. Then what we can do is we can make some water. A little bit more drink, and then we can harvest this. Not much. Oh, I'm not going to use the hack so actually, because it will it will break. Uh, but we can use. I think I'm going to wait in that case actually, and instead we'll harvest this. We use our hands. We go 13 minutes to boiled. How much to grab one feather? A mm, bit much. So we'll instead see if I have anything like this. Yep. We're gonna need to eat soon. There we go. Grab that. Grab that. Pick that up. Place this down. Don't think there's anything we can really make here. Not really. The missing things. The missing cooking oil for the most part. Which we will find now when we go to the... Um, um, farm. But we'll make some water here. Put that there. That's almost frozen. Get some more cattails. Let's harvest one feather from here. I've never been so hungry in my life. There we go. Eat that. And we might as well make more water, why not? Now we can harvest this uh, meat by hand. I don't use the hacksaw. I know I want to repair it. Grab this, come on. There we are. I'm going to pick this up. Put that to cook. 41 minutes. Uh, I don't really care if this evaporates, so I think I'm just going to grab the hide now. All I can think about is food. Three minutes. Eat that. There we go. And I might as well grab one of these, I guess. And actually, I'm not sure if that's worth it. And this I'll harvest later. I think I'll, I think I'll leave it there. We got the food from it. We got the hide. We got guts. I think that's all right. I do have to be a little bit careful that a wolf could come down here. Come ski this ridge. Let's be a little bit careful about that. Let's grab all this stuff. And we're gonna head to the farm. This gonna grab heavy. this. Because it's possible that a wolf could come down. And if so, we need to be ready. It is tempting to go up to ski this ridge because we kind of want the tools from there. But uh, because of how we smell, I think I'll leave it. We're likely to find tools somewhere else. Uh, there might be another deer carcass down by the river, which we can also grab if you want. That's probably a corpse. Let's see. Once we have enough food, we can do some more crafting. Yeah, that's a corpse. I might do a small detour to the farm just to grab some more cattails. But we'll see. We can also grab some bunnies from here if you want. So down here is the draft dodger's cabin. 
which was erroneously labeled the uh, fishing cabin for some reason. It's right here. We might as well loot it while we're at it. Let me just see if we got some uh, rabbits here. Should be some rabbits. Might as well grab them for some extra food. And then head over to the river. Grab some cattails. Head to the farm. Uh, should be here. Barely cold at all, which is great. There's a rabbit. Two rabbits at least. Three rabbits, okay. See if I can grab them. Oops. That was all the time. Where's the other one gone? One was over there. Oh, they're both over there, okay. Let's go lift this one first. Get some more food as well as some extra hides for repairs and so on. Where'd the last one go? There it is, yeah. Okay, there we are. Some extra food. Doesn't matter that we're heavy because we're almost there. Let's check in here though. We could sleep here, but then I uh, I don't think I want to. We're very close to the farm. We're going to do a bit of a sit rep. Wonder if the owner's around. Oh wow, quite a bit. Draft of his cabin. Nice to see the correct name again. We also have all of our um, soups and things, and there should be a can opener in the farm. It's one of those guaranteed spawns. So that means we could open those without losing calories. <clears throat> and then we get even more food, so I sh we should be right now. We'll probably use a match and cook all this stuff. And then I'll get to crafting the next day. Because now we have enough to make the rabbit stuff and the deer stuff. So normally I don't, on a normal interloper run, I often don't grab that many carcasses. I do grab some. Like uh, I will, very often what I'll do is I'll go for the hammer right away. Once I have a hammer, I'm heading straight to a forge ASAP. I'll try and find a hacks along the way so that I can grab some um, saplings and have them curing while I forge. And often I try and kill some rabbits too, uh, so that I have enough to make maybe a hat and also some guts for the bow. And then I very often leave deer carcasses alone this hunt them later, but not always, it, it depends. But in this circumstance, because I'm spawning naked, uh, I kind of want all of the hides I can get before the bow just to ha avoid frostbite and be as uh, warm as possible before hunting. And then once I'm, I can hunt, the top priority is a moose for the satchel and also bears to make the bear coats because also we don't have any underwear, we don't have socks, we don't have socks, we don't have thermals and we don't have sweaters. So there's like six clothing slots that we can't actually use because they're not craftable. Maybe they'll change that. They're going to add the cougar eventually. Maybe we'll get cougar underwear. But who knows. There's also mods, which I'm not using, but there are mods that allow you to craft more things um, in the game. Like uh, rabbit socks and that sort of thing. But we're not going to use those. Although a modded version of this would definitely be interesting, where everything is craftable. I was going to see here, because over here there's quite a few cattails. And usually a couple birch as well. And I want those. 
Let's just grab those before we head out. Still doing fine with the temperature and everything. Feel numb. Grab those cattails over there too. And let's grab this. And then here's some more cattails. I could eat anything. Grab all of these. I want to have at least 12 cattails anyway. Ah, uh, now it's getting colder. Once we get to the farm, I'm going to regroup and start forging. Throw all the cattails here. We don't need the heads though, because we're level 3 fire starting already. So we already, we don't need tinned anymore. Okay, there we are. Now I'm gonna head to the farm. Oh. If I can warm up soon. Yeah, let's keep an eye on these things. <laughs> Might have to make a fire actually. So I don't get frostbite again. Because I already got one by not paying attention. So I might have to make a fire on the way there. Just to make sure I don't get frostbite. Once it gets to like 85% or something, I'm, I'm making a fire. There's a currently with the highest one is this one, 61. Okay, we might be able to get to the farm. Uh, before that happens, we'll see. Very heavy. The sun is still out though, barely. So I can make one with the maglans. It would be nice if I didn't have to make a fire just to avoid frostbite. But if I have to, I have to. I don't want to have permanent 5% uh, health loss. Which I already got once. Because I stupidly neglected to think about it. Because I had a higher risk of it. Made a fire, warmed up. And then I just erroneously thought that because I'm warm then I also am not going to get frostbite, but that's not how it works. They're two different things. As long as you're exposed to the cold, you still get frostbite. How fast are we going up? 67. I think we probably will get there. Because we went up 6% and we made it all the way over here. I think we'll go to like maybe 80, 85. And then we'll be at the farm. We are going very, very slow, but that's okay. So I think we're going to use the farm as a uh, base for now. At least a temporary base. It could be our main base if we really want to for, for a change. We're going to leave a bunch of stuff here as well before we continue. And then we, the next step after some crafting is to forge. Get to the... Uh, the full on mask kick forge and then do some hunting. This is very, very slow because I'm so heavy and I'm tired. How's it looking now? 69. I think we should be able to get to the farm then without frostbite. Yeah. I think it will be around 8 885. Okay. There's our first wolf. So I think we're going to use our first flare. I should maybe have used a normal flare. But well, here we are. Yeah, I might have to switch to a normal flare. Because this is not going to burn long enough. It might be okay though. If you want to make this challenge harder, just ban flares. Flares are not allowed either, so in that situation the only thing you can do is campfire or terrain or shoot it. But like I said before, it's not about making a challenge harder, it's about making it fun. If it's about making it harder, then we'll put on the goer settings, right? That's not what this is about. 
I think that wolf may have uh, killed the rabbit because he's not coming back. How's our uh, frostbite? 77. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, we don't need to make a fire then. Alright, so that's good use of a flare. Also, in a normal interloper, I almost never use flares. I, a normal interloper, uh, I always carry, or usually always carry, one normal flare. And that is used to deter wolves in the event of wind. That's pretty much its use. And it's primarily in the early game, otherwise it's shoot the wolf. Um, and if I go to Bleak Inlet or uh, Blackrock, I often carry some marine flares too. But other than that, I don't... I very rarely use them. They just kind of stack them around. Uh, but here, we're going to use it because it's the only torch-like thing we can have, and it's finite. There's only so many of them in the game. You could find more of them uh, in Beachcombing, though. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. We made it to the farm. I don't think we should get frostbite now. Because now we're warming up. And it's 85%. What did I say? 85. <laughs> How's that clothing looking? Yeah, it's fine. There's got to be something useful in here. My volume is a little bit high. There we are. And now it should not increase further. Because we're warm. We're just going to check down here before we do anything else. There's a workbench here too. Right We're not going to use that right now though. I do need some tools, but we'll find that later. If you don't find it here. We'll probably have this as a at least temporary base. And I'm going to leave some stuff here. We're not going to take a lot of our curing stuff here. Feels like something is sapping my energy. Uh, I don't need what's in here, but we'll pick up anyway. Thermal underwear, which I can't use. Now we have these, which we'll use for cooking. Starting to Should be carrots down. in here, probably. Carrots, yeah. And carrot. Two carrots. Okay, now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to start curing stuff as well. Why? Oh, a sack of potatoes. Three potatoes. One potato, two potato. <laughs> Isn't that like the company that makes Bojack Horseman or something? One potato, two potato. Don't know that. Okay, I'm going to drop some stuff here. So we're going to drop things to cure. So we got fresh deer hide. One, two, three, four of those. And then over here we'll drop a wolf pelt. Over here we'll drop rabbit. Over here we'll drop birch. That one. And over here we'll drop maple. Then we have cured stuff. We'll just carry the cured stuff for now. Okay. We got some stuff here. We got Flour, really cooking useful. oil, salt, that's fantastic. All of this stuff is great. No skillet, but we already have a skillet. We have a load of food now. I'm going to cook some of it, but I would like to find the can opener first. Let's just look around. There's like maple, so I can use that to make some uh, porridge and whatnot. Whatever it's called. Pancakes. Where is my can opener? Me wants. Let's just look around first. Water's fine. Let's double check that I'm not gaining. Yep. Yeah. Nothing there. 
check in here. We got uh, ketchup chips. We got a granola bar. There's my can opener. So now we can open these cans without losing calories. <laughs> Grab this for now. We can harvest it if we want to. Turn on the radio in case no roar hits. You can listen to some music. That is to say, piano music. Check these cabinets in case there's any coffee or anything or a drink. Okay, I think we're gonna cook now. I'm gonna cook our um, our rabbits and also uh, any cans we got. We got a six hub stove here, so we're good. Let's just do that. It should also cure all our frostbite. Shouldn't be an issue. Come on, little fire. There we go. Oh, yeah. uh, we don't need the guns, guns, guns book. I'm just going to toss that in there. And some sticks as well. Okay. Uh, so, let's put got our rabbits that we need to harvest. Let's just put some stuff to cook here. We can just do it here. If you didn't know, you can cook things next to the fire. I assume you would have figured that out by now, seeing as I put teas next to it. I put all of these next to it. We might keep some of the peaches though, because we can use the peaches um, for other recipes. Maybe keep one unopened in case that makes a difference. I can't imagine that making a difference, but just in case it does make a difference. This also levels up cooking. Uh, so warming these up levels up cooking. And fun fact, if you f if you warm up teas and stuff, that does not level up cooking because you already, you know, you already leveled up cooking by making it. However, if you find a coffee or a tea in the world, so a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and that's already in the world, and you heat that up, that actually does level up cooking. Presumably because you didn't make it. Okay, I can leave these and then uh, four minutes. How long to harvest some meat? Two. You can always do 0.5. I'm gonna need to eat soon. There you go. Let's just put that to cook. Okay, these are all ready. Pick these up. Eat this one. Hey, cooking level three. Now I can make rosehip pies. I don't think I have rose hips though. Just start picking them up. Uh, let's. How much water do I have? I have quite a lot of water. You can also place this here. What can I cook? I can make a bannock, uh, which gives a decent amount of um, calories. Doesn't weigh much either. Uh, we can make peach pie. Oh yeah, that's good. This is like coffee. I think we'll make that. And pancakes too. Pancakes is good. I think I'm gonna make these things. They are pretty good. Let's make uh, some pancakes first. It gives us more calories. Cook that. Sorry, eat that rather. Six minutes already. Here we can also, what can we cook in here if anything? Groff, yeah, but we don't have ptarmigan meat. Porridge, we don't have that. Rabbit stew. Uh, that we can actually make. Yeah, we can make that. Pancakes! Okay, let's also make uh, the peach pie. Let's 
I would do anything for a drink right now. 58 minutes. Let's just also do this. And then what I'm going to do is get a harvest some rabbit. another one have some have some water too we're gonna do a little bit of cooking because i i want to make sure i have enough food here i'm gonna make a few of these frontier things uh let's harvest a bit more rabbit this one for example i could eat anything there we are we got some peach pies uh, let's make some more peach pies. And this is running out of fuel. Have a little sleep right here. And here, I want to make, uh, where is it? Have it stew. Oh, I need broth, damn. Oh, okay. Misremember that. I thought we could <laughs> make any broth. And I don't have ptarmigan meat. Okay, in that case, um, I'm not sure we're I going to cook this me. stuff. I can't be bothered with that. And here we'll make a liter of water. Let's also grab these crates for some more firewood. Eat the rabbit meat. 11 minutes, okay. Let's harvest some more rabbit. All I can think about is food. We'll get more rabbit meat if we want to make anything. Eat that. Eat that. Seven minutes. Usually some more uh, crates around here. We can also get more by breaking stuff, but here we are. Let's just break this one. There we go. We got some more peach pies. It's basically coffees. What else can I make here? I make some more pancakes. Like, oh, rabbit pie. Oh, I can make my rabbit pie. Which is max carrot, carrot, carry weight. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. I definitely want this one. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Could have used some more rabbits for that, actually, I suppose. There we go, 58 minutes. So let's put on this. And it should be fine. I think we'll let the fire die after that. Uh, and I think we'll leave the rest of this. Let's make a birch tea thing. Yeah, I think so. I don't think I dropped this to cure, did I? Oh, that's okay. Lose some inventory management later. Can I make anything? Yeah, I can make one of these. Grab that. Cook another birch tea. Eat that. Have more of these. Yes. I think that's it, but we can make um, one of these if you like, uh, from this one in that case. Yeah, and I think this is it. That'll be done. Hey! Too much stuff to carry. We got an Aurora. In that case, I'm going to go start crafting. Because we can craft during an aurora, it's light. So we're going to go here to the workbench. 
And I'm going to start crafting some deer stuff. Let's just drop the cured guts and all that stuff that I kind of forgot to do, uh, which is here. These ones. Our drink. We're going to sleep later because we're going to craft all this stuff. Let's uh, make the rabbit skin hat, I think. At one degree to... Yeah, let's make the hat. Because we might be able to finish it before the aurora ends. There we are. I got one out. Uh, there we go. Got a rabbit hat. Put that on here. Sorry, on this one. There we go. How about that? Uh, we can start on the next one, the mittens. Till the aurora ends. Actually, it's going to be daylight there. Yeah, we got daylight, so that's a good timing. Have some water. Mittens, or mitts, rather. I'd eat anything about now. And there we go. Voila, look at that. And now we have rabbit mittens too. There we go, look at that. <laughs> now we just need uh, the dead trousers. These are cured. Okay, we can make the crampons, but there's no real point in that. Acorns. Is the acorns anything we can make? Like, um, acorn pancakes. Yeah, we could have made that. That would have been good. Uh, actually, let's in that case do that. Uh, acorns. Yeah, acorns. Uh, four of them. I could eat a horse. There we are. And this. And we'll make that into grounds next time we make a fire. There we go. Let's eat something. Let's eat uh, some of these. Uh, pancakes, acceptable pancakes. Eat some of these. Let's eat some more of these. Get full. Full, yeah. Then we're going to go and... Yeah, we might as well just stand here. Uh, there's nothing more to craft for now. But we do have to harvest some things. So we're going to harvest the stuff. Start with the rabbits first. Harvest these. Sleep in the night. There we go. Next rabbit, same thing. We're going to use our hands because I don't use the hacksaw because it will break. I need to find um, I need to find uh, tools to repair it. There we go. And then we have this as well. Three of these, which we're going to use to repair our bedroll or improve our bedroll rather once we find it. And there we go. We got all that stuff. Let's pick up all these things. And now it's almost uh, it's almost dark again. I'm gonna get some of this. I'm gonna grab some wood probably also. Yeah. Just in case I wanna make another fire. Don't need to do right now, but just to have some. Yeah, some wood. This is enough. There we go. Got some wood. And now we're going to go upstairs. We're going to wait until the next night. And then we can see if anything is cured. How are we looking here? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. This is still curing. Uh, this, is all, this is all cured. How uh, about that? Uh, but we got fresh stuff as well. These are fresh. And then here we'll drop all our guts that are fresh, which are these. I could eat anything right now. There we are. Well, these are cured. 
Yeah, very nice. Okay, I think we're getting someone now. Let's also drop this. And refuel this. And let's do a little bit of inventory management. We're going to put some stuff in here. So we don't need any of these anymore. Because now we have our cooking pot and our skillet. So we can put all of these away. Save it for noise makers or something one day. Clothing wise, we can put all of this stuff in there. We're not going to use any of that stuff. And uh, then we have cured things. We can take that with us for now, I guess. Let's see here. This we can disappear. Let's put a couple of these in there. Let's put all our those in there. Let's put wires in there. We got books we can read. We want to kill time. And then uh, food wise, we're going to take all of it with us except for these. We don't need that much. Uh, this we can leave both of these in there. We can leave these in there now, I think. Uh, books. Mm, oh, we can also leave some matches in here. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, accelerant. Yeah, two of these. This also. Let's do. Uh, this is no. So this is actually now PV farm main base. Let's see several hides, guts, saplings, misc in cabinet. A uh, forest cave. Uh... Oh yeah, I didn't go to forest cave, did I? Uh, there's some stuff to pick up. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. There's some stuff there. But it was not very important stuff. It was like a book and a storm lantern and stuff. That's all right. We'll go back to it at some point. Okay. How is this looking? 20%. 61. It's going to take a little while still. Yeah, I'm not sure we can make much more, I'm afraid. But that's okay. So now we're going to go sleep. We're going to do up here. And let's eat as well. Uh, we could read, I suppose, while it's still light, but I'm not sure how important it is. We could start reading, I guess. Oh. Yeah, we could, no, we're too tired to read, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's eat some stuff. Um, we can eat... Let's eat all of this stuff first. We use the other ingredients for cooking. Uh, eat this too. Doesn't matter if it gives food poisoning. And this. A few of these. And I could head to the forge, but I could also wait until that cures and I can make pants if I want to. Okay. Let's now drink this. And we'll sleep for 10 hours and we should recover quite a lot of health. And we've done really well, I would say, with terms of gear and everything. There we go. An Aurora again. There we go. Uh, let's have some water to have something I can... Let's drink one of these. And let's just uh, see... We could eat the carrots by themselves, but I'd rather not do that. Let's eat one of these. We don't need that many. And they weigh a ton. And then that. I'm going to sleep for two more hours. I almost full health. Okay. A little bit dark, but that's okay. The blizzard outside. What a surprise. Uh, we haven't actually looted up here, so let's do that. In case there's anything laying around. Oh, 
Wow, the rattling is crazy. Killers, granola bar. Oops, oops. I don't need any of this stuff. Okay, we'll take the water. How much cloth do we have? Eh, yeah, some. And that's it, I think. Let's do some uh, organizing down here. Oh, it's hobbling. Okay, let's uh, put some stuff in here again, like that. We also don't need two of these, so let's put that in there. And let's drop some cr uh, cooking stuff. So let's drop uh, this. And also some potatoes. And carry one, maybe. Carry one carrot. Why not? Drop one of the salts. Guess that's it for now. I'll put that here. So we have some of these ingredients for when we come back. We don't need it right now. Okay, anything else? Let's just drop this for a little bit. We got all of these, these are great. Uh, this is for crampons. We don't really need crampons, so I'm gonna bring this anyway. Because I wanna use it for, um, for forging. We don't really need this, because that's to make crampons, but we, we don't need the cream price crampons anymore. Uh, because we already have double insulation, so we'll go here. Uh, let's put in all of this. And I think we have one birch, cured birch, birch sapling in here. Uh, guess that's it, actually, yeah. You can repair this if you really want to. You can take this out. And we can break this down. And just repair this. Failed. Come on. There we are. Now if we want some more cloth, we can just go here. Grab these. There we are. Cured deer hide. We have one cured deer hide. Uh, can I? How much for the pants? We need three cured deer hides. That's a bit annoying. How far away is one? Oh, that's very close. Uh, I am tempted to wait until that's done, and then go from there. So then we can make one of the pants. That would be nice. Uh, or maybe I'll take it with me actually, because we have two cured ones. And if I take, uh, if I have three, I can make them later. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll take one with us. How many cured ones are there here? One, two. And how many do I need? I need four. Okay. 91. 92. Okay, that will, these things will cure uh, on the on the way, and then I can make the deer skin pants. We'll also take the wolf coat uh, pelt with us, because that can be useful. So this is all we're going to take with us then, uh, onwards in this journey. So let's make a little note here. So 
to do. When cured, make day leggings. Find tools, repair hacksaw. Get to forging. Hunt and wolves and bears and moose find bedroll upgrade bedroll and that's pretty much it yeah look at that let's have a look at the weather outside Another book. We don't really need all these books. That's okay. Nice. We smell a little bit because of the, the meat and the pies, but that's okay. We like good weather. All right. Oh, I forgot to pick that up. Let's uh, save again then, because I might forget. All right. There we are. Okay, fellow survivors, I think I'm going to leave this video here because it's already getting long enough and normally I would have liked to go and forge and make the bow, but that's going to, if by the time I have made the bow and uh, or forged arrows, made the bow and hunted, we're going to be several more hours in. So I think we're going to have to make a part two of this. If there's interest, please let me know in the comment if you like this run and I can make a part two if you like, just like I did with Autoloper. For now that we're here in Pleasant Valley Farm, we got everything, we got a bunch of hides along the way, and we already crafted a bunch of stuff. We already made double insulation, we made these, we made these, this. So we're looking really well. We got plus 11 warmth bonus with only crafted stuff, and we already survived like a week, I think. No, 10 days, 10 days survived already. So it's going quite well. Uh, we also have the hammer and everything. There were some mistakes made because I wasn't paying close enough attention to my frostbite meter. So I got frostbite, which is something that very rarely happens, but it did happen. Some mistakes happen. But it's not about making an optimal run. It's about just playing the best of it. Also, as I've said before, like because I'm a family man now, uh, these long videos are typically recorded in multiple segments and they're often interrupted by, for example, the baby waking up. And sometimes I get discombobulated and I lose track of exactly what's happening just before that. And that's why I like make these little minor mistakes. But with challenges like these, so this is a challenge that I made, but I made it in response to community uh, suggestions. And I really like this challenge. It's fun. There are similar challenges. There's something called Reborn Traveler, where you have to start naked and just make all the stuff, but it's per region, but it's basically the same though. Uh, but then also torches being banned makes it a bit harder. But so far, I haven't noticed a massive difference because I just avoid the wolves instead. And then those few times I've had a wolf, I just walk away from it or use a flare or a campfire. Uh, even if I banned flares, I wouldn't have a massive uh, issue with it. But I think that's because I'm deliberately avoiding them for exactly that reason. But it's going quite well. Uh, we have enough hides also to make a, um, a dare skin pants now, which is great. And uh, when we come back here with the bow, we can make another dare skin pants. We still need to make coats though, wolf coat or bear coat or moose coat. And the moose hide satchel also. Which it, the moose hide satchel is less important than this run because we need to emphasize warmth since we have less clothing, but it's still probably okay to get. We'll, we'll see about that. But yeah, in any case, this was a fun challenge to do. Feel free to try this challenge out for yourself. Feel free to make it harder or easier. You can do it on Voyager, you can do it on Melgoa, it doesn't matter. Change it however you like. But for now, the main reason of uh, or main rule is just. Um, Start naked, can only wear crafted clothing, and uh, you can't use torches at all. So that was an interesting start, at least. <laughs> and it was quite fun. I quite enjoyed it. If you would like to see a part two, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like to support the channel and uh, consider becoming a Patreon, and you might be able to preview part two in that case. With all that being said, uh, we got still load uh, our little road ahead of us by forging and crafting some more. But then I think we have stabilized completely. 
Uh, we still need a bit more food, but other than that, we are pretty good. So that was the Torchless Craftsman. Uh, I was thinking of calling Torchless Craft Person, but it's one of those titles, like Foreman, I suppose. So we can just call it Craftsman. Playing as Will as well. But anyway, that was the Torchless Craftsman. I quite enjoyed it. It was quite fun to do. Let's see if you continue or not. If you watched all the way here, wow, good job. And thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting the channel. I wish you all the best in your own runs. And thank you for watching. And with that, see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.